What's up with you on Belegion? What up, this is George Bell here on the Belegion The Bell Show. Make sure you check us out on the Woodward Sports Network. What is up? Glad you could join us. It is a Friday here at Woodward Sports. Not just any Friday. It's Find a Boyfriend Friday. Yeah. <laughs> for who? Did you hear that? Find a Boyfriend yeah. Friday. For, I'm on the for market. The and I'm looking for go. a man. New on the market. She's new on the market, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Kennedy. I thought you guys. Were, I thought you were gonna say it's fry yay. It's fry yay. Not find, find a boyfriend. A boyfriend fry. <laughs> I'm on the market. I'm looking. Yo, and then it's also <laughs> the last episode of what? Black History Month. Oh yeah, yeah. So you remember on the first? It is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the last episode of Black yeah. History Month. It's been a good three and a half weeks of uh, of fun. In, in history so the first the first day i had on my other one today i have on this one so uh, my man yeah so we're gonna end it with this one that's a sharp look dude thank you i'm you know what i'm going uh i'm, I'm going down to florida a month can i borrow that i got you i i would i would uh I let's roll well you know i'm gonna what? get you one custom made okay. just for you listen the truth <laughs> do you, you want to know the truth do you know why we're doing this i don't know if you if you've been following along to the Belgian and bell show uh, it's been about 200, between 250 and 278 degrees here. To, I came prepared, and if need be, I have a pair of shorts that that I can. These jeans can come off, and I'll sit here in my shorts. I'm I'm, I'm ready. To I go. mean, you can do it like a Zoom call, and um, you know, Kennedy comes back with her with her thing on, and we're gonna blame that on fish because fish, you need to turn down the volume on all of these fish. <laughs> In his how, defense, he didn't know I was going to use it. Yeah. Jenna, Jenna said, let's I'm go so hunting sorry. for a man, Kennedy. <laughs> Jenna, it's a date. Let's go. Great stuff. Yeah. It's great to see you back. If, if people don't know, Kennedy does such a great job behind the scenes helping us uh, get prepared. And Lord knows her job might be the most difficult part here at might Woodward be. Sports. Might be. Trying to get these two, you know, on point. Come on. Would you want to deal I with that? I, I don't know how she does it. I think it's harder when I'm in the Facebook con comments trying to simmer the art and joik beef. That might be the hardest part of the job. You might have the hardest part of the job because you're smack in the middle of I it. I love watching it. I, you know that. I, I get I get so much watch joy like watching those two. And then the first thing I do, like when they start, I always look at the comments and I'm like, Grammy whammy. Yeah. And then boom, Come, Grammy say whammy shows Grammy. up. Oh, it's, it, it, every, everything gets, you know, it gets good. You know what it is? They find their seat. They are in, uh, you've seen it before. They have their two lazy boy chairs. My grandfather is on this, is on the right. My grandmother's on the left. And they recline every day at 11 o'clock. And they look forward to the show God bless every them. single day. Oh, I love day. that. I love hearing she, that. <laughs> she texts him. She said, look, you're really home, but look how God works, man. I get to see you two hours every single day. I look, oh, I said, look I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All but, right, the show's over, and we're not gonna. There's gonna be nothing better than that the rest of the show. So <laughs> oh. we'll check you out on Monday, okay? All right, tap in. That's hey, you got awesome. you have the clip ready for the two minute of um, Black History? All right, cool. Run it. We, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag free art, Brandon. <laughs> Hashtag free art. Our our poor art. We we here like. All right, today it's about I'd say about two hundred and fifty degrees. What do you think so? Arts yeah. arts box. Are, what you're you're at about 300 right now. Yeah, but I, like I'm comfortable <laughs> right now. But later on, I'm gonna end up taking this off. Maybe my shirt, if you're lucky. I mean, yeah. You know. Let's go. I'm, I, I've always said pizza tastes better with your shirt off. How's school going, Kennedy? <laughs> school um, is great. Oh, the, you sound confident. The cl the classes are fine. My sorority, due to an event that shouldn't have been thrown but was is now on probation so i had to deal with that i had to go to the dean's office 
Mm. Um, because Poor you leadership. cannot party in a pandemic. <laughs> Poor leadership. Um, so I'm also on probation with the school personally for attending. Um, so that's been interesting. Are, I see. These are things I did not know. Are you really? Oh, I really am. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Party girl. You hey. know what? You know what uh, we need. Joyke needs to go down there. We need Joyke no. and McCarty to head down there to <laughs> Butler. And like have a art? conversation, <laughs> have a conversation about culture. Like Joyke and and McCarty, you're going to go down there yes. and give give the culture speech. And just like college culture is partying. Is and, that college culture? Well, I mean, kind of. It's not yeah. college culture. Yeah, it's, it, it's no, it, it's, it's a stigma. Okay, but it's a stigma. In my defense, <laughs> and when you say we went to school, we we, we learned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we did. We learned a lot. I'm also learning a lot, but also I feel like you can't bring yeah. thousands of 19 to 22 year olds and be like, you can't see each other and you 1, can't thousand percent. do anything and then put us all on probation. Oh, you're going to get me started. Sorry, I won't. No, I'll, I retract my, bite, my you know statement. Me, I'm trying to bite my tongue. Mm. <laughs> live life. Live life. You have to go live life. Stop mm. hiding. Live life. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hand. Bah. Live hey, life. You s- don't survive. There. Thrive. Yes. That's what we, that's what we want. That's God what we didn't want. create us to go hide and say, no. Like, like, well, live. And this was the thing. So I've been really good all year wearing my mask everywhere. I hadn't been going to the parties. This was the one party I went to for the entire year. Of course it gets busted. Why wouldn't I get turned in? It's the one time I did anything. And we had all just been tested and tested negative within the past two days. So we were like, yeah, it's fine for us girls to get together and drink. Because we're all COVID negative. The school did not care. (laughs) The school did not care. The school did not care. (laughs) That sucks. That sucks. Oh, my goodness. Uh, By the way, Grammy Whammy said, nice shirt, Joyke. Oh, she thank you, she thinks you're looking she thinks you're looking sharp today. Okay. I thought you, I thought you were gonna say cheap. No. <laughs> Jenna said COVID is not college culture. It threw a wrench into the plans. Yeah. Totally. A L- little bit. Little you know, bit. It, you know, and it really sucks though, right? You gotta think about it. For some of these high schools, some of these seniors, they have not been in school all year. It's incredible. All right. Just in- like my nephew missed half of I think his last quarter. And you have kids that are missing this entire year um like say for ben harbor i think they're trying to open up the last quarter of the um the last quarter of the school year for the kids to like be around each other just to get that feel before they go off to college because it sucks think about those seniors last year and i had a few friends that had kids that were seniors last year yeah and and all those milestone moments that trust me when you get older you kind of look back and you laugh at them but I wouldn't want to begrudge you or anybody else from experiencing them. Uh, this, the, the case of senioritis, which isn't that far in your rearview mirror, Kennedy, that, that last month of the year where you're just oh you're done with it all. Mm-hmm. You're ju- you're, I mean, and there's no other way to say it. In high that, school, you're just done you with it all. I'm a senior right now in did you hit, Did you get senior, um, senioritis at all? Be right honest. now, I totally have it. Huh? I have senioritis I had it, now. I had it um, my junior year. Did you really? I got it at the end of, um, I took my first vacation to Miami on spring break in March. And I wanted nothing else in the world but to go back to, to spring break in Miami the next year. Best time I ever had. Yeah. Had, had no money. I had no money. But what we did was, it was like, you ever seen like uh, College Hill? Mm-hmm. Or, you, hey, you ever seen College Hill or like the real world when they take a lot of a lot of young kids to put them all in a house? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's something like that. So me and some friends, we uh, we rented out a condo. I was like, uh, I think it was three girls, it was four guys, and we rented out this condo for the week. And so we rented. We didn't. We couldn't afford a car, so we rented like scooters. And so we had like four scooters, and uh, we'll just ride around every day South Beach, hit the beach. Um, we didn't really go to any restaurants or any clubs because we didn't have money, but we would be on the beach every day, and we just had a great time. It was, the, and honestly, the best time I've ever had in Miami is when I was in college. That's, and I've been and I've been plenty of times afterwards. Those kids last year, though, no prom, no graduation. No. no I mean, think about it, and, you know, and even forget about the athletes for a second. You know, I told you guys um, hockey – 
they were ready to drop one of the semifinal games, and then the teams were at the rink, and they said, no games, it's all canceled. I mean, they were already there. One, one team traveled all the way from Calumet. Calumet. Traveled all the way from Calumet. Is that the UP? Pulled, yeah, pulled into the lot, a parking lot. We're told in the parking lot, uh, guys, you're not playing. <laughs> Turned the bus around, went back home. I mean, it, it just, I, my, my heart breaks for those kids, you know? I mean, it, it's, you know, they, they, they tried their best to do drive-bys and, you know, hey, we're going to have a drive-by graduation. It's not the same. Not the same. You know, it, it's, it's just, my senior year, by the way, I, I have to tell this quick story, and I think some of my friends are going to get a kick out of this. I had a uh, teacher who happened to be the father of one of my friends. And, you know, it, w- it was cool. You know, we, we had, because when I went over his house, I messed with him and he messed with me. Right. But we did the student teacher thing until the last month of the school. And I told him one day, because it was my fifth hour class, because as a senior, you don't have a sixth hour. It was my fifth hour class. And I walked in, it was early May, and I, I, I said, I'm not going to say his name, but for the sake of an argument, let's say his name was Mr. Bell. I looked at him and I said, Mr. Bell, I'm, I'm not coming to school for the rest of the year. And, like, he looked at me, and he goes, don't put me in that position, please. Like, he goes, seriously, don't put me. And I go, listen, you're not going to fail me. I know that. I'm friends with your son. I mess with you. He goes, you're not going to like what I have to do to you. And I go, you're not going to fail me. Like, I'm not coming the rest of the year. See you this weekend at your son's house, but you're not going to fail me. He was like, don't, don't. So at the end of the year, what happened? Gave me a C. Nice. <laughs> didn't, didn't go. go I just stopped going. You stopped going. Well, why? Okay. So. I knew he wasn't gonna fail me. Like, I, like seriously. Why did you put him in that position? I yeah. was a jerk. A I was a yeah. self-centered a senior that had a serious case of senioritis. I was literally done with my high school. I mean, it was just you know, as a senior, you're just like something happens. There's like this epiphany, and all the things that you used to care about, and the clicks that you used to care about. Mm-hmm. Like for me. I was done. It was over. I, I had a great time in high school. I Question, did. Question, how many kids? But it was over. All right, so I will always hear this, and I'm going to ask, Kenny, how many friends do you have that you still talk to from high school? Um, There's five. Five? Yeah. How many did you kick it with in high school? Five. Only five? Pretty much, yeah. Only five. What about you, Sean? It's weird. If you asked me 10 years ago, the number would have been small. Something happened in the last 10 years. I reconnected with a lot of old, a lot. I have, I couldn't even, a lot. A lot. I mean, a, when I say a lot, I mean, a, but but it's not just my graduating class. It's people who it was a couple years before, a couple years, years after, after. All of a sudden, like we kind of became this weird group. Like, so question, do you guys have like, um, what, what do you say? The, the reunions, the class reunions? I, I will, I don't think I'll ever go to a reunion. I just, it's you not wouldn't. for me. Would you go to a reunion? Only if I was like really good looking, really successful, and like you know what I mean. Like, Joyke. like if I yeah, if I was Joyke, I would go to a reunion because then everyone reunion, would be yeah. like, "You turned out so cool." But I'd if I like, if I'd I go end like up this all day, yeah, what? if I end up flopping what? as an adult, no, uh, I'm just gonna vanish. No one needs to know what happened. Yeah, I mean, it didn't turn <laughs> out. I got you know best athlete. You know they do. He's like, thing. yeah, you know, but no big deal. But that's. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> You know, you know what though? It, they have this cool thing. Uh, I think it's like up in Flint where they have, or it's somewhere where they have like a uh, a class union, but it's all the classes come mm. back. No. They come back, and you don't have to pick. Well, yeah, it's just one weekend they have. That's called the Winter Garden Bar in Livonia. Like oh. a- any Friday night, you could go in there, and there's 15. It's like high school reunion every time you go to the Winter Garden Bar. It's, it's I mean, so it's flat. it's actually. It's kind of depressing. Sorry, Lavonia. I love you. I'll tell for life, but it's it's kind of depressing. Put the L's up. L's up. I get my L up, but you're not going to catch me in Winter Garden. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what a spot like that it was called Smokies back in my hood. It was called Smokies. Stop the Smokies. No, you know what? I mean, it, it really is. It's I like all I love my high school. I love my alma mater. I, I was I mean, I still don't know why, but they asked me to come back and give like the commencement speech a couple of years ago. What an You're honor! The man. Yeah. It was it was really. Did you it, give it? Yeah, it was awesome. It was great. What, what did you talk about? You know what I talked about? Be happy in life. Be, that's what I talked about. I, I said, as not only as a human being, but as a parent. You know what? Uh, obviously, as a parent, we want what best for our kids. And you know, you you have these your ideas. What was your opening statement? What was your opening statement? You know what I've learned in the past thirty years since I've graduated. 
Uh, a lot of the things that I thought were true weren't, and that's going to be your journey in life. Right. And you know what I, the undeniable truth that I, yeah. that I know now at, at the time I was 48, is I said, do something that makes you happy. And I used an analogy. One of my friends, this is a true story, is uber successful. I mean, he's doing really, really well in life. I'm blessed. He's there. And he has a countdown clock on his desk at home to when he can retire. And I find that so incredibly depressing. Like every time I go to his house, I wince when I see that. Because to me, they're going to have to kick me out of this business kicking and screaming. I have so much fun doing my job. Mm. It doesn't feel like a job. I, it hasn't felt like mm. a job in years. Now, are there some aspects about life that, that you don't like? Of course, that's life. But, and, and I told people, I said, you know, like my overwhelming message, I use this analogy. If, if you want to be a pizza delivery driver, well, I hope that you aspire for more than that in life. But at the end of the day, if you, if you pin your parents down, you know what they want? They want you to be happy. That's do not what something, they want. They do want some, you to be successful. Do something, be do something that makes you happy in life. If look, you want to be a doctor, be the at, happiest doctor hey, in the world. Look at Art Parent. Like Art, they don't oh. want Art to be happy. They don't want to be successful. That's why he's here working at Woodward Sports to be successful. He's not happy here. He got to see me every day. Are you happy here, Art? I'm happy to see Sean and Kennedy. Aww. Enjoy, Aww. enjoy in all honesty, like, you know, the the bit, it works. You know, I do like you when you show up on time, which is never, so I don't like you. So, you know. Grammy whammy. I don't know what it is, Grammy, but it's, Grammy. Some, it's something about Grammy. Art's hat that just make me want to just sock him in his forehead. <laughs> like, it's something about his hat. And that's his hat? Smart. It's something about Joy, his hat. you want your kids to be happy. Yes, you do. No, no, no. That's the new generation. That's that's the millennials. Uh, what's the, what was what, what were you guys generation what? I'm Generation X. X. Generation yeah, X. I'm Generation. Yeah, X. Generation X. You guys want us to be successful. I don't care about happiness. No, no. I, I, I. Happiness is well, a. Is my a dad's scary. in his generation. He's over there. You want to ask him nah. if he wants me to be happy? Happiness is success. Though. Amen. Daughters. Listen daughter's to your kid. sister. Happiness is success. Absolutely, positively. True. Uh, one thousand percent. Couldn't agree more. Oh, we got a hand raise. Oh, can, I, may I? May I, Joy? Is is that okay? I I, I just want to say, like, as a parent, if my if my mm. kids were to come to me and say, "No, why why are you doing that? Why what?" I use my hands when I talk. I apologize. <laughs> He's Italian. I'm Italian. <laughs> um, but you know, if my kids were to be like, "Hey, I want to do what you want to do," I would be like, "Prepared to make no money, but you'll be happy." Like, I would rather do this and make what I'm making. Then make more and be absolutely miserable. That's that's just my thoughts. Joy, all jokes aside, you, you know, you, you there are people that in what? your there are people in your business that are miserable. In the NFL, yeah, I know guys that are. Yeah, I, and there's people at my uh, people that I grow with that are miserable too. I, I don't like no. Like, I bet I'd rather be miserable with a bunch of money in my pocket than miserable sitting at home broken hungry. But life no. isn't all about no. making if, as if much money. No, 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 no. That's that's not what I said. I didn't say nothing about happiness. No, but you said... I, I said would... miserable. Did I not say miserable? I said it's people mm. in the NFL that's miserable. And I said I know people at home that's miserable. Broke. But what did you uh -huh. say? I'd rather be that's at what home I with said. a bunch of money. And that's not what I said. That did not that's come out of my mouth. That's literally what you said. No, I'd rather no, be at home what... with a bunch of money. No, that's not what I said. Okay. That's not what I said. Okay. Joyke, I have a question. So you said <laughs> there's people in the NFL that are miserable. You I, said, no, I didn't say that. Sean said that. Okay, Sean said that, but it's still a question for you. Yeah. So just Sean Watson, that article you sent us yesterday, mm -hmm. do you think he's miserable because of his job or just because of where he's at right now? No, because of where he's at. He doesn't hate his job because he had his job. He just walked away from the game. Right. He just but he just city. said, I'm, I'm not playing for the Texans. Yeah, he doesn't want to play. No, it's not even that I don't, don't want to play for the Texans. I don't want to play for this ownership. Mm. He doesn't want to play for that ownership. All right. If it was a new owner, new people running the team, or people that he can trust, he might stay there. But his whole point now, he just wants a new start. He wants a new beginning. That's what it is. I know some guys that were playing football. We talked about this, Sean. I know. I know some guys that were playing football, and I'm sure you do too, and I'm not going to mention any names. They were playing football, but they said that they stopped enjoying football years ago. You stop and, enjoying and, and this is this is just a way to make some money and the second that they can get out when they feel financially stable, yeah. they're gonna get the hell out of there and never look back. And yeah. and, and that's that's like I don't think that's not human beings understand that. You know what I mean? 
No, a lot of I'm gonna tell you this. A lot of players might feel that way, right? A lot of a lot of players might feel that way, but they'll never say it out loud. Of course not. Absolutely. No, That's never why say it out I'll, loud. I'll never tell you their name because I I'm I I've never already know. given up a source, but know. I never will. I like it's, already it, know. Yeah, I mean, and it's so I mean because that was, because it turns it turns from fun. The the high you the the higher you level up with it, the less fun it, it it is because it becomes more of a business, and the business side takes away the fun. You know, it takes away, which you know it should because now there's there's money involved, right? Nobody wants to pay you know, an eighty dollar ticket to go see Pop Warner. Nobody wants to see that. They'll pay eighty dollar ticket to come see a Super Bowl with or, or a regular season game even a preseason game of the best athletes in the world at that particular sport. And so, I mean, it turns into a business, and, p- and people don't like the business side you, of it. You know what I'm thinking about right now, just thinking? hearing you talk about that? After Wayne State wins a game at Tom Adams Field, and I walk downstairs, and they have that big grill out, and they're barbecuing, and Jason Clark's out there, and they're flipping chicken and burgers and everything. Right. The joy on those kids' face after a win is awesome. And I told you, I like college football better than the NFL because you know what? They're having fun. They, they enjoy it. They're talking mm. about that, that big run that Joyke Bell made to win the game and everything. And I'll you know what? You down, down in your locker room, it, occasionally in the NFL you see that, but more often than you not, know, within five minutes in business You know why, mode. though? You, do you know why it's like that, though? Because you're professional? No, it's not because of that. It's, it's the thing that goes into it. So you go to, high, you go to college, right? You go to college. A lot of people that's in your sorority, all right. A lot of girls that's in your sorority when you got there, are they still there? Or did they leave? Like, the have they dropped the sorority? Like, disaffiliated? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, are they still in the school? Are they still part of the sorority? Like, yeah. All right, all right. So for the most part, so when you get in the NFL, you have new players coming in day in day out, so you don't get a chance to build that bond with everyone because you have so many mm. people coming in and out. You go to college. You're probably going to be with those people for the next four years, right? The next four, four and a half years. You go to the NFL, you might be with a, you might be with a guy for two years. You might be with a guy for one. You might be with another guy for three. But for the most part, I mean, the average per, um, the average career lifespan of an NFL player is if it's three point one. And I think it might have dropped down, even lower than that. If it's three point one, you don't have an opportunity to really, you know, get a chance to bond with these guys uh, as much as possible. I mean, I was on six different teams. I couldn't tell you every player on each one of those teams. I'm just, I'm trying to learn the playbook. I don't have time to be friends with you. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, no, I, I get it. I have to learn the playbook. I get it. And so it's different, right? So you don't create that bond. And what makes college football fun is that you're bonding with your teammates. It's totally different when you get in the NFL. Like, you, you still have a bond, right? You, we have a brotherhood. It's a small fraternity, right? And you have some guys that keep in touch when they're done playing. You have some guys who don't keep in touch. So I remember, you remember um, Tony, our tight end, Tony <laughs> Chef? Yeah. And so we had Tony. Western's finest. Yeah, Western's finest. So he got released from the team, all right? He got released from the team. He had some concussion issues. Yeah, and I and I called him the next day, and I texted him, reached out to him, and um, told him, man, we're going to miss you. Hope all is well. Uh, you need anything, re- let me know. And you know what he texted me back? Hmm. He texted me back and said, you know what, Joy? Out of all the people I play with, you're the only person who texted me. I said, wow. That's crazy. Hmm. I was the only person who texted wow, me. Wow, isn't that weird? Yeah, and I had played with him. And yeah, I think he had been on the team. He was on the team before I got here. So he had been here. He had been there for years. You know, and so that's why... It, it, it's different in the NFL than in college. And growing up, I used to like college better too, just because of what I would see as far as the atmosphere with the with, with the students, with the fans, and with the players, right? And don't get it wrong, it's still fun in the NFL when you're winning, all right? When you're winning, you know, because people are starting to get paid more. Uh, your job is just became a little bit more secure. But when you're losing, and this is what you're doing to take care of your family, and and your job is on the line, and you don't know what's going to happen. It becomes more of a it becomes more of a burden because you just don't know. You don't know. You know. You fear the unknown. So a lot of furniture moving. Ricky said, "That's uh, my point. Happiness is more important than money." I like Joy. To your point, like 
would I rather be happy and have money? Of course I would. If you could do, of course I would. If you can, if you can make a living doing something that you love, then that's the definition of success. Amen. To me, that's that was my message. Right. That's that's what I said to those kids. All right. And I'm also a firm believer that if you're working to make a paycheck, then you'll be working for the rest of your life. So I'm a firm believer in doing what you love and also making an investments to where you don't have to work the rest make of your life. Make your money work for mm -hmm. you. That's it. By the mm -hmm. way, our mm -hmm. financial show is uh, starting. We're <coughs> going gonna to fire that up very quickly. Yeah, really quickly. Joyke and I, we're gonna, on Woodward Sports, Kennedy is going to be our moderator. We're, we're mm -hmm. going to show you how to make your money mm -hmm. work for you. Yeah. Right? More people don't know that. Yeah. I'm, I, okay, I'm messing about the money show. There's no money show. Make your money work for you. Yeah. Just... Yeah. I'm not giving you any free tips, so sorry. Um, we have some we have some topics to hit on today. Yeah, we got a few. Yeah, we have a few. Um, want to tap on it before we um, go to break? I was waiting for the tease from you. You was waiting for the tease. Yeah, come on. Hey, so look how much he's grown. He's about to tease. So good, ladies and gentlemen. Here so, is a tease. So, former Olympic coach commits suicide after being accused of. Stay tuned and catch up. <laughs> I'm looking to bring out another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire- I'm looking to hire- Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern tech. What up, Doe? How you doing? So glad you could join us. Joyke Bell, uh, Kennedy sitting in today. We have another special guest coming up a little bit later on in the show. Uh, some happy news around Woodward Sports. We continue to grow. Uh, thank you so much for being with us for this, I mean, really pretty cool experiment. I mean, I'm having a blast doing it. Love the people that I work with, and uh, we're growing. You know, and so that's pretty cool. So we've got some news on that. By the way, before we get into the topic at hand, with the average price for an ounce at Michigan Recreational Dispensaries coming in at $300, why not just grow your own? With just one light, you can pull down up to 36 ounces each harvest. Now, I want you to do some math and then go see our guys at Grow Green. They have everything you need to start growing today and the knowledge to make sure that you crush it. Mention Woodward Sports. Get yourself a free T-shirt. Um, the Larry Nasser stuff, um, the, the fallout from the Larry Nasser stuff uh, just continues. And I'll, I'll tell you what, um, as the father of a young, well, now she's 16, but when this stuff came out, she was in that age group where all these poor girls were violated disrespected you throw any word you want out there it made my skin crawl i mean it, 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 it literally it's just it's it's disgusting because you can't help but think of your little girl you right. can't i mean it it's 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 disgusting it, yeah. it, it just i like honestly it gets me ugh. you know I, I don't know do i cry do i no, punch you, the guy like you what you, you know i mean honestly it's really one of those reactions it's i again it's, it goes to one i don't know how humans can do things to other humans i, I, I like that as i get older joy For profit For no profit. no honestly as yeah. i as i get older I, I i just don't understand how humans can treat humans the way that they do it just uh, you know some of the stuff we've talked about this month this stuff it, what the hell's wrong with people, man? It should be nice. It's not that difficult, right? Um, but this was uh, this was a disgusting story. Disgusting, man. Uh, dies it, by suicide after being charged with human trafficking, racketeering, sexual assault. Uh, Dana Nessel had brought up 24 counts against him. Uh, only one of his charges were related to Nasser. Now, I, I still don't know all the details and I'm not sure if the DA is going to put out all the details now, uh, now that he's gone. Uh, but they're little girls, man. They're, they need to put out all the information. Yeah. They need what? to put out all the information. What the? No, Art. it's... Yeah, I think what's most shocking about this is what you just had mentioned, that only one case pertained to Larry Nasser. So there's a whole other situation that's going on right now that 
you know, because of the investigation, it was opened up more. But it's disgusting to think that only one charge, the other 23 other charges, what is happening? Like, it's just, it makes me sick to my stomach. Well, and, and it, what what's weird about it is is it's almost like, to me, our... To your point, there's there's like this whole chain of just disgusting, bad human beings that one kind of beget the other one, mm -hmm. you know? Well, okay, he, they're connected here, but he went here, and this went there. And, 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 and it's just like, uh, I, I don't know. I, it, it's, it's one of those things that um, uh, John Gettert, is that how I pronounce it? I have no idea. Gettert. But like the charge that was related to Nasser was only that he lied to the police. Like the trafficking, the sexual assault that this guy was doing, like wasn't even related, which is so crazy to I, me. That's, it's, it's mind boggling. Yeah. It, it really is. It's, it's, you know, they're, they're connected, but he went off in his own debauchery and evil. I mean, that's, that's the most disgusting thing about like human trafficking. Yeah. What are we talking about here? Are, you know, are, are, are you talking about, like, 12, 13, 14-year-old girls? I, huh? You remember when um, Aston Kusher, when he left from acting for a while and became, like, a full-time advocate for, like, yeah. finding these girls and, and bringing them home? And uh, he was doing it on his own. And he came. He came out with the FBI started to reach out to him because they needed his help because how bad it was. And he said that he would get these girls who were so conditioned to where they thought that the sexual acts that they were doing was playtime. They thought it was playtime. It's horrible. It was that bad. It was that bad. And all the only thing you can think of when I hear stuff like that is my daughter. I know Mike. You, thinks about you all the time Kennedy uh, I think about where um, uh, where my daughter's mom was walking around to the, she was pregnant too she was walking around the store and these guys were like following her around the store to where she had to call security and I wasn't there another time another incident happened to where she was in the, the zoo right down the street walking around the zoo and the guy was stalking her there uh, it's like all these different things when they had to call security and the thing is it's around it's around and and what they do is like I, I hear like a lot of the stories how they try to jam your door when you're at a department store when, yep. you, when you come out you try to they jam the door so they, they try to get you to walk around to the other side of the door to unlock it and, they, and that's like when you're not aware they grab you mm -hmm. type type of deal and it's 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 crazy the things that they do in order to get these women yeah all right. and, and like, it makes you fearful. As a girl, like, you're so conditioned for things like that to happen to you. Like, I don't walk in parking garages without, like, my, like, fake brass, brass knuckles of keys, like, in my hands, like, ready to stab someone. I'm right. not even kidding. I check under my car every time I'm in a parking garage before I get in so someone doesn't, like, grab my ankle. And, like, I'm from Toledo, which is one of the, like top sex trafficking areas mm -hmm. in our nation and it's gotten so bad recently my mom's like best friend's daughter outside of their home a guy like drove up next to her and was screaming like hey like your headlights smash your headlights smash like look at your headlight so and then he tried to like drive around and grab her and get her in the car luckily her mom was home and came out and was like what the hell are you doing with my daughter like my yeah. my mom's best friend's daughter was yeah. this close to getting kidnapped. Jeez, you know, oh, it was a, it was another one where it had this. It was a lady walking down the street, and it was and it was all on um, the camera. She was walking down the street. Guy pulled over, got out the car. And she had a book bag on, and uh, she kind of saw the car, but she was just like she was being cautious. She saw it, and the car pulled over, and he got got out the car. A big fat guy too. He was fat, out of shape try to grab her and he didn't know that she was a off-duty officer pushed him off and gave him about five slugs to the chest laid him out good and so no it's, it is good like in this you know there's for do you, you feel do you feel bad for guys like that do you feel bad for guys Hell like that no. do you feel like the things that go through my mind if something somebody was to ever touch my daughter i can't even stay on the air i didn't grow up with sisters yeah. I, I I had no idea 
like what Kennedy, you just said, that was never part of my life. I had brothers. Yeah. I was in a me like sports, me eat red meat family. Okay. <laughs> and, and having my daughter, I mean, just hearing you say that, I mean, my daughter now, she just turned 16. She's waiting to get her car. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she has to wait. I think it's 50 more days now. Um, but she's, you know, excited like every other 16 year old kid is right. Yeah. She's got her keys already. You know, even though there are no car keys on there because we haven't gotten the car yet because she didn't get the license yet, she's got her car keys. She has a little pepper spray thing on there. Yep. That was when I got my license. Like, my what, the, grandma, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? My first gifts after I got my license were pepper spray and a taser. Like, no, it's gonna license. And, and again, these, these are things like, mm. sorry, guys, I didn't, I didn't grow up like that. I, I didn't, I didn't know that these are things like hearing you say, Kennedy. So as a matter of fact, like, oh yeah, we as women are predisposition. Like, what the hell's wrong with you if you're a man? You're not a man. They're a target. I, you hear it's, me? It's, a, it's a, it's a, no, honestly, I, no, honestly, that's how they, this is how they target women. They look, they look for targets. That's why they always tell women to walk in the walking packs, right? Mm -hmm. The walking packs. And so for all the loved ones in my life, all the women in my life, I try to, um, we got to go get you a gun license. We got to. No, it's a must. It's not even because how she said Toledo's one of the highest in the nation. De the Detroit metro area is the highest in the nation. We're number one in sex trafficking. We're number one here in in this area, which was baffling to me when I heard the news. I'm like, here? What? You ne It's not been talked about. You don't no. hear about it enough. Never. You don't Never. hear about it enough. Mm -mm. And why is that? All right, and you have to ask yourself, why is that? Why don't we talk about that? We're the number one, like when we were in the number one murder capital, like you heard that, you heard about that, but you don't hear about the number one sex trafficking. You don't hear about that? No. <sighs> I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Uh, Jenna said, can we do a Woody CPL class, please? I'm all for it. Anybody that knows me, I'm all for it. Yeah. I'm so. proud, proud owner. I got a couple. So, yeah, there's that. Um, you know what's weird about this, the sports stuff? And I, when I hear stories like this, I think a lot of times people don't understand that some of these sick, depraved despicable i'm not even going to use the term human because it's it's um disrespectful to the term human but um Scoundrels. they they, Scoundrels. they flock to things like this and you don't think about it like you know i always go back to what happened at penn state jerry sandusky okay he was a respected coach there were people that thought that he was going to be joe paterno's heir apparent i mean that was that was the talk back in the 90s when joe finally decides to call it quits Jerry Sandusky will be the guy that, that replaces him. Of course, Jerry Sandusky um, re retired in 1999 and started his own, you know, pedo grooming place and serving time in jail for it as well. But I often hear people say, um, well, as a parent, how can you allow that to happen? And you know what? Can I speak to that for a second? If my son has an opportunity to go to when he was playing football... If my son has to go, has an opportunity to go to a football camp at Penn State or Wayne State or whatever, you're like, that's awesome. Yeah, why not? You, you don't think that a well-respected place like Penn State or whatever college, you, you, never in a million years would you imagine that. No. You know, that, that that there's things like and the same thing happens like all I, I feel so sorry for these parents that Larry Nasser, believe it or not at one time had a good name I mean he was, USA Gymnastics for goodness sake he's their doctor who in a million years you don't think about that as a parent mm -hmm. and I think it's depressing that you know as a parent you want to be as protective as humanly possible when you hear these things come up, I can't blame parents for saying, uh-uh, you're not doing a damn thing unless I got a front row seat for the whole thing. You're not, because, like, honestly, what would I have sent my daughter if, you know, she was big into to skating at one point in time. Would I have sent my daughter to a figure skating camp like that? Absolutely, I would have. 100% I would have. Mm. Would I have sent my son to a Jerry Sandusky football camp at Penn State? Absolutely, I would have. Because you know what we see? We see Jerry Sandusky, Penn State football. That's not what you see. You see opportunity. We see Larry Nasser, USA Gymnastics, and you're like, this is legitimate. 
this is an opportunity for my kid to learn from one of the best, whatever the case may be. And it, it's just like my heart goes out to you because it's like that could have been me. That could have been one of my children. It could have been. Art. Right. Yeah, I think uh, as a parent, too, like you want to educate your children and, and tell them, you know, like back in my day when I was growing up, it was back uh, in my day, back in my day, um, it was, you know, it, it was a code word. So, hey, if someone comes pick you up, they need to know the code word. Now we're so far from that that there's tactics like the windshield things where you put a note on the windshield the woman gets out she grabs the note next thing you know she's kidnapped there's so many different how do you explain to children and talk to children about what's going on without terrifying them it's a terrifying time and honestly the the best thing we could do is just to be honest with our children uh and at the same time you want to shelter them as much as possible and it's a fine line between you know, scaring your, like scaring your kids and letting them know. Uh, my son is at the age now where we have to have those strong conversations. Like after that George Floyd incident, we have to have another conversation. Like we have to, I have to have these conversations with him. You know, um, he's about to start driving. All right, I have to. You know, how can I protect my son if he's in a car and and I'm not there? All right, how can I do it? All right, so I, I go out and I go get this thing called Legal Shield. And we talked about this before where, you know, he just keeps it in the car, 24-hour lawyer. If anything was ever happening, you can always call that number, right? And so it's just having these conversations. But what do you tell your your your, your two, three, four-year-old son or daughter when stuff like this happens? Right. You know, I, it's, when stuff like this happens. It's tough. To, it's, you know, you have social media. You have all these different things that are influencing our kids as well, you know. I don't want to get on certain songs, but like that stuff really gets into your subconscious mind. And then you ever notice yourself singing these songs randomly? Just randomly, you just start singing these songs. Oh my so, gosh, Joyk, you sound like me. I sound like you. You do. You so, you sound like the old dude because like <laughs> I'm the old dude now. I, no, listen, I one hundred percent. I'm looking at you smiling. I'm I like, never in a million like, years thought that I would be that guy. And I hear some stuff today, and I go, "That's just garbage." <laughs> like, what the hell are you saying? Yeah. What? There's nothing you, funny about that. Kennedy, You're not Do you, do you cool. like Throat Baby? Do I like what? Throat Baby. The song Throat Baby. I don't know that one. You've, you've heard it on TikTok. You heard it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me a little... No, please God, no. no. Uh, no. Coat Baby. No, it's cold yeah. outside. No, 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 Coat Baby. No, 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 no. I don't think I've ever heard that one. I'm not even kidding. No, no, I thought you were referring to WAP, and I was like, don't come for WAP. No, 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 no. Not WAP. Don't come for WAP. It's on the same level as WAP, if not worse. Oh, it's okay. worse. It's worse. It's worse than WAP. Hey, listen to me. Look at me. It's worse than WAP. Okay, I'll just believe you. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna go listen to the song and we're See now, yeah. now, Kenny. Welcome to the old. Now, Kenny. Now, yeah. Kenny. Uh, hey, the old club. Maybe we're not so bad after. She's all in the college. Old you don't dudes. know what that song gets stopped. I. I'm not even kidding. No, but it, it's no. It's joy. Kennedy. First, the, hold up. If you if you're gonna be single, the first thing you need to stop stop doing is lying. Like you know what that song gets stopped. Like and you're in college. It's like stop it. Stop it. I'm just glad it's not me today. I can hear, I can hear <laughs> my dad. I, I, had, <laughs> I had a gym downstairs that, that like I kind of made my own gym downstairs, and I would, I would always work out to Metallica, and that was, that was always my thing. And my, my dad would go, "How can you listen to that crap? Like, how is that? You compare that to the Beatles? How can you listen? <laughs> not the Beatles." And I, you know what? I'm that guy now. I hear some of the lyrics from, from like, my kids will play a song, and I find myself, like, immediately turning into my, get that crap off my television. You know what? It's like, it's oh, my mumble. gosh, John. I'm it's the John. Mumble rap. It's the mumble rap for me. I'm glad that's kind of over now. No, it's not. It's kind of over. Oh, it's a million times worse now. Like oh, it, it, it's it, there's who, who are the mumble, mumble rappers now? Mumble? Every rapper mumbles other than give me one. Le realist, uh, re give, me, uh, give, me, give me two mumble rappers. Uh, Lil Uzi Vert, he mumbles. Well, that's who? Uh, little, little Uzi Vert. He's doing better. Uh, love who his else? work. His first CD, Muscles. Not CD. Not, CD. not CD. Uh, Give me another one. His another first one. LP, that was hot. Yeah. And then. Little oh, no. Universe? What's it? Steven little Universe? Little Uzi Vert. Uh, listen, Kevin says WAP sucks. No, it doesn't. <laughs> WAP. Kevin said WAP. WAP sucks. What? Trippy red. Oof. Trippy red. Oh. No. Trash. 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 
Mm-hmm. You know what though? But I mean, the, I mean, to, to each his own. I mean, obviously somebody like he's famous for it. So, six nine was famous, and for what? Yeah, uh, don't even get started. Is on that, that the guy that has the tattoos Tats- all yeah. over? Oh, yeah. the crazy hair. I knew one. Uh, all right, uh, I knew one. Go, Check Grandpa. Him out. It's a big day today. It's a big day today. I can't yeah. wait to go home and tell hey, my we kids. Gotta bring, we got to We got to start a hip hop show out here, here with Sean. Get Sean on here. <laughs> You know, we're going to change the name of the show. I'll get that L. I'll get those L's in the air. Scare them all off. You know, I'm liking the view here, though. We need to change the name of the show from Belize and the Bell to Two Thorns in a Rose. Aww. Two Thorns in a Rose. Aww. That is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. No, no, By no, the no, way, no. if you're an attractive male looking, uh, <laughs> Kennedy Broadwell, ladies and gentlemen, if no. we mention she's on the market. Oh, I'm sorry. I Very was mis- freshly. I, I, I was mistaken. Two Thorns in a Rose. Oh. Oh. oh, sorry. I'm well, that joking. changes I'm things. I'm, I'm, out. Changing. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, some other things we got to get into. I think Michigan and Northwestern are doing something really cool in college football. I, I hope more places do something like this in case you missed what it is we will tell you all about it when we come back we also have a special guest coming up later in the show i you know when i found out i found out about five minutes before the show our special guest was coming in but that's cool uh some exciting things happening at woodward sports and, and we're glad that you're along from the ride i don't know where this ride is going to end i just know it's, it's been fun game? There's no end game here. I don't think there's an end game here. Yeah. I, you yeah. know I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's, what's it's what's no the end, end game? It's what no are end. we doing here? There's I don't no know. Game. I have no idea. We continue to grow. And it's pretty cool. Hey, uh, my bookie, no matter the sport or season, you can always win big now. Nonstop action, 365 days a year. Choosing from thousands of lines, NBA, NHL, UFC, the winning can never end at my bookie. They have something for everybody. Have you checked out their prop bets yet? They've got prop bets for everything. Uh, maybe there's a prop bet for the Cobra Kai in there. I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, my family and I are just binge watching Cobra Kai. They have to catch up to me. Art, I don't know if you like that show. It's tremendous. March Madness right around the corner. Start building your bankroll now. You can do that, but you have to do yourself a favor first. Get that head start. Sign up today with promo code Woodward. Get your first deposit match halfway up to a thousand bucks. That is free cash credited into your account instantly on top of your deposit. Now the best part is you always have access to the action whether you're at home, whether you're on the go, but you have to take that first step. Visit mybookie.ag today and use promo code Woodward to grab yourself a deposit bonus. Bet, win, and get paid at my bookie. Joyk Bell, Kennedy Broadwell, Sean what? Belegian, uh what? Big Daddy what? Red, what? Big Daddy what? Kane WAP, whatever. What? Hey, Red, you know what WAP stands for? Yeah, what does WAP stand for? Oh, it stands for worship and praise. I know what it is. Worship and praise. It stands for worship and praise. I know what that is. I do, I'm pizza. not that. Wings and pizza. Wet behind the ears. Woodward Sports. Ah, hey, it's Jelly from Woodward Sports, <laughs> and I am here in downtown Fan at Bridge Street Exchange. This place has so many amazing things for guys. And ladies, this is the hidden spot that you got to come check out. I'm talking throw good boots. Best boots ever. They have barware. They got the Stormy Cromer hats. They got Carhartt hats, a huge Carhartt selection. They even got Snoop Dogg underwear. So go check them out, bridgestreetexchange.com, and use the code word WSN for 15% off. What up, Doe? No. Boy, they're having some they're having some fun on the, the Facebook page. I have the Facebook page. Yeah. I don't know what Jenna was responding to, but she had me at Wings and Pizza. Wings when and I pizza. when W-A-P-Y. I just see Wings Wap. and Pizza that, pop that's up. What that's what, what, oh, is that what it is? Wap. Okay. I'm you, Say you, say honey. I when I come home, I want you to give me some WAP. Yeah. It's like it's just like bop. <laughs> it's like bop. Bop. Brick up wings pizza. and pizza. And, uh, wings and pizza and bop, bop, That bop, Kevin Hart bop. special was the best. I would that, love it. From the Kevin Hart, what? It was the best. I know what I'm having good, for though. lunch today, good. Fish. All right, you, you know what? I, I got to blow out of here. I got some things to do this afternoon. Some I, I think I'm going to have some Is wings Art, and some pizza. Are you upset? upset? Cause that's not, I said that's I not just, his... There's certain times when you talk and you give your opinion, and I absolutely hate it. That latest special from Kevin Hart was his best. He here was in go. his home, relaxed. When he was talking about the boxing story, I was crying. My wife and I, we, that was our last special moment that we had was with Kevin Hart watching the special, laughing together. 
I can't believe that you said that that's not his best. I'm disappointed. It was a, it was a good special. His, my favorite of his is Seriously Funny. Seriously Funny was his best one for me. Right, I'm Sean Belagian for a while. When I'm hungry, <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing that satisfies my appetite like WAP. This very <laughs> afternoon, I am looking, as soon as the show is over, to head out and get myself as much WAP as I can possibly get. WAP satisfies me in every way possible. So the next time you're hungry, make sure you pick up some WAP. The show's over. The show's over. Please make it's it stop. It's Grammy Whammy watching. Grammy, you know what, though? My grandma is so hip. She she probably even knows what WAP is. I, I want wings and pizza. Is wings and pizza? I want wings and pizza. No, 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 no. You want WAP. No, I guess WAP. <laughs> hey, guys, I think we got the clip for today. <laughs> I run a clip. I want WAP. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, my grandma is a child. Grab every child in. <laughs> Brandon said, hey, Shut you know what's these funny? Jesus. You know what's, you know what's hilarious? I asked, when I was home, I asked my grandfather, what was the last time he had some WAP? Oh, my God. Stop. Listen, you know, Jenna, this is your fault. Don't you put up skeletons. You're the one that said uh, wings and pizza. You know, you know what he said? What? He said, he said about 10 years, last time I had some WAP, I, you know, my, my defibrillator shocked me. <laughs> I said, Grandpa, you got to give up wings and pizza. You can't eat that. It's bad for your cholesterol. <laughs> we're done here. We can go home. When we go All down, right. we're going All down right. to the Keys. Just programming right. note, a month from now, we're going down to the Keys. I have no idea who's doing the show with Joik. I don't care. It you might be the we. Art and Joik show. Oh but I'll tell God. you, the Take first me. thing I do when I get down to the Keys, I'm going to look at my family and go, who wants some WAP? I'm gonna. That's gonna be our first meal Dude, down there. I'm going gonna, to get some wings and pizza. You're gonna, you're gonna go get some what? Where pizza? Hut, little Caesar's. No, I'm, I'm gonna find a nice pizza joint down in the Keys, right? Okay. Is it Let's like say. sacrilegious to you to put uh, ranch on your pizza? Because yes. I'm a big ranch with my pizza. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put ranch. I used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, I used, to. used yeah. to. I was just wondering because you're you're well, the man do, of the, no, do the you know, food. Do you know, can I tell you what what I do? But because I I have to respect my family and people get mad at me if if you are asking me, I love anchovies on a pizza. I love it. It's tremendous. It's great. It's awesome. You're a disgusting you, human right? being. My, fa <laughs> my you're a family's disgusting like human my family's being. like no way we're not doing that. No uh -uh. no zero no. And I want to classify you as a human. And and so I I never get. I never get anchovies on a pizza. And the the gone are the days where I could just go get a pizza myself. Yeah. Like, I, I can't do it anymore. What's your favorite pizza? Uh, pepperoni. pepperoni. Double pepperoni, preferably. Yeah. Okay. But, My favorite one is the um, is the Hawaiian pizza. Uh-oh. This is going to get problematic really yeah. fast. Yeah, because you don't I like, like pineapple. With the ham like and the pineapple? pineapple? I like pineapple. I don't, I don't get it with the ham. I don't get it with the ham. Oh, yeah, you don't. The bar barbecue sauce. It's the barbecue sauce Someone on there. said y'all are off the effing rails, <laughs> especially the Sean. <laughs> the pineapple. The pineapples. Um, what else? You have, you, have, you have that on there. You have your, you have your cheese and your, your mozzarella. <laughs> the mozzarella. The, the mozzarella. Is that, was that good? Is that <laughs> no, good that art? was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make it a pizza for you. I don't know what's worse, me saying that or the guy who produces the show. Um, oh, no. oh, so, wow. Great job. Yeah, it's doing right. I hope you sleep Shots well fired. at night. Shots fired. All right, man. Kennedy. All right, so, Sorry. <laughs> you know what she's working with. Stop it. Um, <laughs> no more nameplate for you. <laughs> I'm not taking any accountability yeah. for this. With this off the rail stuff, it's Jenna brought up wings and pizza. And that, it fell up. I'm blaming you, Mazzarella. Jenna. No accountability, none. Vinny, uh, Vinny, the mozzarella. Please stop. <laughs> for the rest of watch, for the watchers who's watching this show, at some point today, at some point today, I'm so happy. You guys are gonna be in the mid conversation and just gonna out. You just gonna shout it out. The mozzarella. <laughs> the mozzarella. The Maserati. Hey, the Maserati. <laughs> the Maserati. Yes. The me Maserati. Too. Uh, Corvette, somebody Corvette. said uh, Detroit. Detroit style is the best. It is the best. Uh, Steve yes. said, if you I guys had Chicago style. deep dish, it's a pie for real. It's so overrated to me. If Chicago. I if I want some dough, I'll just bake a thing of bread. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, th the I think Chicago style is so overrated. This is one thing so I, I never liked. To eat your own. I can never. I went to Chicago one time and I got 
what they call the Chicago dog, and it almost made me puke. And I, I never ate it again. I never touched I it love again. The Chicago dog. I think if you put cheese in the crust, that's what I'm like. Ugh, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, it Anybody doesn't else? belong there. I'm with you. I'm, I like belong. I like the Detroit, the Four Corners, the the yep. deep dish. It's Buddies. That's all I Detroit eat. style, Buddies. Detroit yeah. style. The, I go to Buddies. That's where Jets I get my Jets has a good buddies. one. The two gym, it's called the Two Jimmies. That's what the Hawaiian people. It's called the Two Jimmies, and I get that every time I go. Don't put the ham. I'm on I'm that. a New York slice guy. Like if you give me that thin. Of of crust, I'm I'm happy. Like just I like that too. I I, just, I, I like that. The, the big I yeah. mean, it's, it's a spot. It's nice a, and greasy. You know, I can drink the cups of grease like uh, shots. Uh, I, I'm count, count me. I like the curled up pepperoni where I like I take shots. And you know what? Take another Art, pepperoni when he says that, I'm a dabber now. when it's too greasy. Art, it makes sense. From the start of the show back in December, I was trying to figure out <laughs> why Sean was where he was. Now I just figured it out. <laughs> He drinks. It's so he gross. He drinks grease. That's why his hamstring is on the ground when he runs at forty. <laughs> I don't know why would he say that. Because he drinks grease. It makes sense. You know what? <laughs> you, you know you. My buddies always used to say to me though, like like why do you run? And I was like, so I can drink grease. That's I mean right. And then and then what happens is your body finally says at about forty six years old, nah, dude, something's got to give. So it pops your hamstring out. So that's and then and that's the end. That that's the end of you. Makes sense. Uh, Will said New York slice here to hometown boy. Um, no, seriously, g- give me that big New York slice or New York style. You know, not not the thin crust that's like crunchy. You know, sometimes they do like oh. the thin crust is yeah. crunchy. I, I don't like know. Burnt. Just that that nice mm-hmm. little layer. You know, my my boy Freddie has pops, a really good my pops pizza. Um, chimed in. Will Gaddy, New York slice here too. Hometown that's my, boy. Will, I'm with you. I mean, he's from there, so obviously but that's he's that's say, my boy. He's from. Yeah. Will, let's go. Let Let's take a trip. Let's Let's go. I, some of those you ever like walk. Down, you guys want to take a trip for real? Some of the, like. <laughs> right, let's, how about you guys take a trip? Um, let's go. At, at, Do we get to go at, in your car? No, at the end of next month. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy your dad some wop when we're down in the yard. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 he's a minister, so he's a, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he likes wings and pizza, no, he doesn't, doesn't like wings and pizza, he better not like no wings and pizza, vegans, hey mama, get him, that's true, he better not eat no wings and pizza, (laughs) that's true, because he's vegan, but you eat pizza, without cheese, do you eat cheese, yeah, for sure, well, vegan cheese, okay, no, 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 you she eat, eats vegan cheese. I eat vegan cheese. I'll you eat, eat vegan I'll, cheese? I'll, I'll eat cheese. That's one thing that... Then you're not vegan. No, I'm vegetarian. Oh, I'm flexitarian. I'm not getting into I'm it. Back and Easy forth said, back. I can't wait for I'm the first work party. Shots of grease on me. Easy, Ooh. we're having a barbecue in April. That's okay? disgusting. And if you guys didn't know this, like seriously, you can go back and look on Twitter. The last barbecue we had, I don't want to tell you how many people were there. We had a full pig. I'm not like a full pig that we put like on the smoker. I did a 24-pound brisket. I did a pulled pork, and we did, I'm not joking, we had probably a 1,000 wings. And now that I know there, there's some vegans amongst us, we're going to have to come up with a special like menu for them and no, everything. No, no, just make the same thing as you cauliflower. My, listen, my boys and I, we, we legitimately like to cook for people. You know, like, you, that's not a lie. You I like say to cook that, for people. And every single time you bring this barbecue up, it makes me upset because you're saying now there's a new date. I didn't know there was a new date. In April, we're going to figure out the exact. Right Can we do now, it on my birthday, listen, April 11th? April 10th is the day that we're looking at. <gasps> just for me, Joy, you like that? Oh! You know what, though? You know what, though? <laughs> Let's have, let's have the cookout on the tenth and let it go into the next day, and so you're so nice. And have it and let it go into the next day, and Art might be somewhere on the stool at eleven fifty nine, and when he takes the dump, it'll go to twelve o'clock. So it'll be the same shit, different day. <laughs> I was like, where are you going here? And, 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 and Shame on me for thinking that he was being nice to you. No, me too. My, my I, apologies. I give up. My apologies. You're like that was good. Right? Stick said where? Stick where? at my house. Where? See, you guys are all invited hey. to my house. Come over. Come one, come all. Who's stick? He, yeah. stick can't come over you there. Guys, you guys are all invited to my no, house. No, Stick's too tall to be there. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of being around <laughs> him and being so It's like reverse short. Cedar Point. Yeah. Yeah. If you are this tall, you yeah, can't, can't come, come in. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so, listen. 
The George Jewett Trophy will be awarded every year for the Michigan Northwestern game. I love the trophies in college football. I just do. I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a slap for it. Whether it be uh, the flo- the Floyd of Rosedale, whether it be uh, the wooden shoes for Wayne State mm, and Grand, Grand Valley, Valley. I I, ju- I think it's it's just a cool it. thing. Never, never got those wooden right. Shoes. Well, they're hanging out down at the football facility right now. If you want to go take a look at I, them, I, I've seen them. I'm sure they miss I've it at Nallendale. It. I've seen it. So, it was a beautiful sight. Um, there are lot, lots of trophies, as we know. Paul Bunyan is one that I think for years people didn't even know that there was a Paul Bunyan trophy. Like, honestly, it just seems like that kind of blew up maybe in the last 10 years. And my personal th- theory is it's because many people didn't know that there was a trophy because Michigan won the damn game so many times. And suddenly when somebody takes something away from you and assumes ownership, <laughs> then all of a sudden, hey, I want that back. Mm-hmm. Right? right? It's kind of like Kennedy's boyfriend. Hey. Kennedy's boyfriend's going to go, wait a second. What the hell did I do? I want that <laughs> back. And Kennedy's going to go, uh-uh, uh. boyfriend. That's what's going to happen. Do do, do, do what he did. That's what you're going to do. No, you didn't. Uh Uh-uh, boyfriend. Uh -uh. Well, not even boyfriend anymore. Right. Ex-boyfriend. So, so, like, that's become, like, seriously, I can't tell you how many of my friends have the little mini, like, Paul Bunyan trophy at home. Right? I I have one. I have a little mini Paul Bunyan trophy at home. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah, I do. I'm going to tell you, my, my favorite scene of L. Bundy, and when he played on a Dirty Dozen Polk on High. Lemon Color. You remember that? <laughs> and him and Jamie Foxx was going back and forth, and they had to joke on each other. And uh, I wish we had a clip of that. I wish we did. We can't find it. It'd be copyright. But, hey, it'd be copyright if we took it off of YouTube. Yes, and I'm glad that you said that, <laughs> yes. too. Yeah, Vinny said copyright. he missed out on the wings and pizza. Nobody wants to miss out on the wings and no, pizza. We're not going to – you know what? We won't have pizza. I'm sorry. We're not going to have pizza at my house. Yeah. Uh, we will have wings. Like I said, we did, I'm not joking, we did a thousand wings for the shindig that we had in the fall. We did a thousand wings, and they were gone like that. Gone. Can we make a, a thing to where you, you can't say WAP yes, ever order. again? Can we, no, we made everything. Yeah, can, can we make it a thing to where you're not allowed to say WAP ever again? It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Um, for you, I'll do that. Why? For you, I'll do that. Why not? I like wings and pizza. I don't know what to tell you. I like WAP. <laughs> Stop. Joy, we you know all right. So you're familiar with the smoke show. You're here most weeks. You, yeah. you get to eat from it, and partake the, from it. Art gets it. We make everything. Like everything there is stuff that we make. And like I'm not joking. Like for the shindig that we'll do in April, I'll probably I'm guessing this is just rough estimate. Come over to my house about two o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, right? But we'll go until whenever. We will start the day before, probably around six o'clock in the afternoon. Well, like seriously, we'll we'll start about six o'clock in the afternoon. I have it. I'm just. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I have a calendar that I have to follow strictly. Okay. Can I put April 10th on the calendar at 2 p.m. Tentatively. Okay. See, I can't. I can't do this with you, Sean. Joy, right. you're my what? new best friend. All right. April 10th. There. There. Okay. There. I've got a busy schedule. April, put put April tenth. Put a circle around it. I will. Do. So Dave and Mike, I, got, I hope you guys know I'm putting you to work April 9th. We we got it. We got to start working in advance. Hey, um, Kevin said, would it be any WAP at the cookout? Stop, please. <laughs> Make it stop. He asked. We'll have wings. There will, no, there will not be any pizza. Just wings and pop. No, uh, wings and pop. Uh, uh, wings and pop. See, wings now pop. you're doing it, Art. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Art, are you bringing, uh, are you, are you bringing uh, what with you? Are you going to bring like a gift? You, you don't have to bring you anything. Bring, you you guys bring yourselves. Okay. Don't you dare bring anything. You gotta bring, no, Not you gotta, at my you house. You gotta bring your own wop. Yeah, you gotta bring your own wop. <laughs> Not, don't, don't, you, don't you dare bring... Don't you... Look how happy they are. Look at the celebration over there. B-Y- That's so good. B-Y-O-W. <laughs> <laughs> so about the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Kennedy. Hey, get so hey, Sean, do it go, was the Sean, first black Sean, player in the Big Ten. You see that? You, do you see that? Is that a fresh lineup in back of you? <laughs> Back your head, Sean. Is that a fresh lineup? <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. Be it's a great you show. Total you. It's like, a great knock show. it off. Hey, it's a great Can show today, bring guys. It back? Uh, okay, so anyway. <laughs> there it is. Be Here it comes. Oh, right, my you. goodness gracious. Um, yeah, so anyway, the George Jewett Trophy will be 
awarded every Michigan Northwestern game. Uh, Jewett was the first black player in the Big Ten. He played at Michigan his first couple years, Northwestern uh, for a couple years as well. Um, he All was the getting tran- a medical degree. He was the transfer portal before we knew the transfer portal existed, evidently. But all jokes aside, awesome. That's like, yeah. seriously, awesome. Do, do more things like that. Mm-hmm. Do more things like that. Honor these guys. And not only that, honor these guys, but it's fun. I don't care what anybody says. It's, it's like, yes, you you want to win. Like, like Joy, I'm going to give you an example. When Wayne State finally beat Grand Valley, oh. and I'm not, listen, Joy, I'm not joking, pounded them. Like, they really did. They pounded them, okay? Did they, did they wave the flag? The they did flag. wave the white flag. Sorry, Lakers, you guys did that <laughs> afternoon. But... Like, the joy when they ran across the field. Like, one of the captains ran across the field immediately and just was like, mine. And took it. it. Those guys were celebrating. And it was funny how many former players, guys like you, Mm -hmm. that that had been gone for years. Gone for years. Were texting me and Josh going, we finally did it. We finally did it. Like, the the phone blowing up. And it's like, I'm sorry. That's part of the magic, the allure. It looks so good on you, Michigan. It looks so good on you, Northwestern. Total thumbs up for that. Great idea to do something like that. Great idea. You know, and it brings, but you know what? That brings a culture. That brings tradition. And it brings like that. You know what? People didn't really watch football games. They'll watch them, but they get more tuned to the game when they do like the um, with DraftKings, when they have to draft the players they do on fantasy football, things of that nature. When, now they're really into the game. Now they're watching like three or four games at a time. So. I think that was big for the GLIAC uh, to be able to do, do something like that. And I think it's big what U of M is doing. So I'm excited for it. We should do more things like that. I, I'm serious. Like, I remember a few years ago um, when, when Jackie Robinson, they had the 50th anniversary of, of Jackie breaking the color barrier, right? Mm-hmm. And it was so cool. I was, at, I was at Tiger Stadium, and there weren't many fans there. And they had the 42s, like, all over the park. And then the guys were wearing the 42 jersey. That's awesome. Like, how can you not, like, go, yeah. That's dope. Like, like respect. And, and you know, guys were having fun with it and, and everything. And that, to me, now that'll become synonymous. That'll become synonymous with Michigan Northwestern in, 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 the, in the future. And for people out, th- out there that don't know, you get yourself an education, a, a history lesson as well. Right. Who the, you know what, like, like who the hell is George Jewett, right? Well, you know what? You can ask somebody or you can look it up and research like his his significance. Like, you know, for me as a as a young sports fan growing up, I can't tell you how many times like well, who who's Heisman? Who's who's Hobie Baker? Who's Harlan Hill? Right, who are the what who's what, Harlan what, Hill? what what why why and so you know what you do? And, you type, and kids say you can you can look that up and you can get yourself an instant education. I think it's we great. Live, we live mm-hmm. in we live in a Google generation right now. You can just go on Google and find. You remember you had, you used to have to go to the library and look up stuff. All right? 100 percent shout out to carl sandberg library in in l town you know we just go i would walk five Google. blocks down and and say hey can i read something kenny's got the yeah, Sean, you're, you're, you're what 83 gosh <laughs> not that ages. old come on man a big your... difference between this... 72 and 83 this yeah year. knock it off this i don't year... need a walker yet did you used to like stop your car with your feet like <laughs> car. he's got a flintstone car you, flintstone you think we car. had cars when <laughs> Kidding me? Cars. <laughs> cars. Walk my Brontosaurus to work. It was great. It was great. Ancient. So good, 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 good. Uh, Kevin said that was Wayne State's little brother moment, beating the brakes off of Grand, Grand Valley. Absolutely. Hold on. No, Joy, it's true. Ain't it's. No I mean, it, 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 facts are mean, right? I mean, they are. Facts. Are, do you know why? Here, yeah. I'm glad that you brought up little brother. Do you know why Mike Hart bothered people so badly back in the day? When when he said little brother, do you know why? Do you know why that bothered people so badly? Why? Cause it, it was true. true. It was true. Who do you call a little brother? Michigan State. Yeah. That game where that game where Michigan State had the lead and Michigan came roaring back and you know yeah. won at the end and and he goes, it's like playing football with your little brother, and he yanks the football away and and says, no, not today, and everything. Well, you now miss. what got depressing to me is over the next 10 years when Michigan State more often than not kicked their ass, people were still saying little brother. And I'm like, it's a bad look right now. 
Because little brother, like while you were away partying, little brother's been working out all summer, and he just kicked your ass. You you don't fire little brother back at somebody after they whooped up on you, right? Yeah. No. You fire yes sir after they were they <laughs> yes, whooped sir. up on you, right? <laughs> yes sir. Yes sir. You damn right. Better not call me little brother again. <laughs> I got another one. I got a fresh one right here. Right? All of a sudden, little brother's running the house. What you don't need that in your life. Why are you so belligerent? It's Friday. I can tell you why. Do you know what I need this afternoon? No. A grease a shot. A nice wop. <laughs> oh. Did you say wop? Mm-hmm. That grease from the wop. Yeah. That grease from oh my. the wop. Mike Hart, and Steve said, love Mike Hart. Hopefully he has some success coaching. Great to bring guys like that back. Yeah. Great to bring guys. Good. Absolutely. Mm. Heck of a Wins running a back in college as well. But people at Michigan State hate it. Michigan State, I hope you guys are mature enough now and maybe some success did that. You know why you hated it. Yeah. He told the truth. You were little brother. Now, again, it became depressing when they kept saying it after butt whoopings. It's like, okay, now this looks bad on you. The fact that you're just saying that now just kind of looks bad on you, but it, it's it's cool. So the yeah. George Jew, Jewett Trophy, keep an eye on that. Michigan and Northwestern, so that'll be fun. Nor, Northwestern's one of those programs. I, I think Coach Fitz has done such a good job there, but you know they're going to do a little bit of this. You know, it, it looks it's like, going to be a roller coaster. Yeah, they're going to they're going to do a little bit of this. I mean, there are certain things that a place like Northwestern has to deal with. Right, I mean, th- there are some academic restrictions and things like that, yeah, and it's it's it going to be tough to That's recruit tough. some of the top players. But I think you have to give Coach Fitz credit. He huh, has... so, so so are you saying the top players can have good grades? Absolutely, That's exactly what I'm saying. Is that what you're saying? You're all sir? dumb. Every one of you guys, all top players are Since dumb. People like you, son. Like. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all dumb, all good players. No, but I mean, you, you, you get my point. It, it's, it's, it's very difficult to recruit at a place like that, and uh, he's, he's done about the best you can at a place like that with what he's had at his disposal. Uh-huh. He's another guy. I mean, when you take a look at his track track record, you know, he's not supposed to be winning that division. The recruiting grades say that you know he's supposed to have five hundred at best teams. But you know what he's doing? He's getting those guys in. He's coaching them up. He's turning them into better players. He's molding them. He's and developing them. Yes, exactly. And it's like, have, have they been able to punch through and, and win the big in this new era? No. no. But just winning that other side is quite the accomplishment. I think winning so a division. are they good enough? Is he good enough? At Northwestern, no, 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 absolutely. No, 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 no. It's no, 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 no. It's either you're good enough or you're not. Yes. He's good enough. Yes, he is. Okay. When when you when you're getting is the divi- team good enough? When you're getting to divisional championship games, absolutely. But you know, okay. All jokes aside, I know what you're getting at. The criteria in the NFL is everybody's supposed to be the same. The, you, you all have the same salary cap. You all have the same opportunities to create a team. It isn't exactly an, a level playing field in college football. All right. Well, guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back to you guys talking about the NCAA tournament and their new rules. I'm looking to bring on another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to ten techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only ten and a half months, and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm just looking at uh, my schedule this afternoon because I have to go out once I'm out of here and do some things and pick up some wings and pizza. Oh, no. Huh, that's what I'm having for lunch, I'm telling you right now. I'm not going to say the word anymore. Art's in the other room dry gagging. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get some wings and pizza. That's what I want this lunch. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, there are a couple comments I want to get to. Uh, Kevin said about the Mike Hart comments. Yes, it was true, and it also made MSU motivated. Kenny said that's why I loathe Michigan. I mean, that's, to me, like what you said is 100% right. And that's why it's funny when people kept saying little brother. It's like, do you understand, like, ever since that comment was made, you stayed here and Michigan State went like that? Why on earth would you want to remember it? It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of depressing. Then Michigan State went and beat you in 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 17, 20. It, it, it's like 
to me, it's like, okay, it happened. I want to forget about that, you know, but to each your own. Hey, so it's something I want to ask you, and this is interesting to me. Uh, teams will be replaced, and this is for the NCAA tournament, um, and these are the rules that they were just released. So uh, NCAA said that teams will be replaced if they cannot play in the tournament. Whack-ass policies. It's, you know what, though? But what happens? What, but hold up real quick. What happens? He didn't catch it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, WAP, <wow>, right? <laughs> now, WAP. Wow. So, so, um, now, say it's, <laughs> you like that, that one. That was genius. That was genius. genius. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> Two thorns in a row, and the row. And the old guy's the one that picked it up first. Right. I, I want the I know, record he, to show the said. old guy picked it up I was, first. I was, I was on my ESPN mode. I was like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Sorry, serious, I right? threw it off. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. We, we need that here. We need that here. Uh, teams will be replaced if they cannot play in the tournament. Now, how do you feel about this? You know, where, say, a player isn't healthy and they can say, well, somebody on the team has COVID or something. Or, you know, if they can't play well, you know, we get a new team in. What happens then? You know what? I think the funny aspect about this is all the people like Bracket Guy, who's one of the most annoying guys on the sports calendar guy. Like we were talking about this the other day when Terry was in. Um, the college basketball tournament, like the diehard college basketball fans out there, the, the guys that are in like from November all the way through, they hate March Madness. You know why? Because there are a lot of people like us that come in and sit here and want to talk about like their college basketball analysts and experts and everything, right? Uh, oh, the, how what am I supposed to do about my bracket? Yeah, yeah, bracket. That's Who me gives right a now. bleep about your bracket? Because, what, what, because well, when you put money you? on because it, because people they, put money on they, it, they don't sure. do it anymore. Then what? Let me give no, you no, an no. example. They have, they have like leagues where like local leagues where they do. do okay, it. and then let me give you an example. I am a I am a huge fantasy football player. I used to host fantasy shows on television and the radio, okay? Love it. I've done it, okay, longer than some people in this room have been alive, okay? <laughs> My first league was 19 flipping 89. That's how long I've been playing fantasy football, okay? So, Joyke, you know what happened? Guess what? I can make a choice. This year with COVID... Am I going to invest the money to play in this league or am I going to say, screw that because there's so much uncertainty I'm not going to play? Okay, Don't but there, play! But there are separate policies, though, which is weird. Mm -hmm. So you want to read that off, Kennedy? Oh, sure. There are separate policies for when a team is forced to withdraw. One before the announcement of the championship field and one for after the release of the bracket. Replacement teams will only be introduced into the championship within 48 hours of, after the announcement of the field and at no time thereafter. So basically Saturday, or Sunday, sorry, we're going to know the 68 teams. Right. And then they have 48 hours, I'm assuming, to COVID test all of these teams and then swap the ones that test positive with the four that just were a hair out of making it into the tournament. All right. All right. So, uh, so Sunday we will know the 68 teams, um, but seating will not change. Yeah. So, say, like, I mean, I hope this doesn't happen, but like, if Gonzaga all has COVID somehow, you're telling me someone that wasn't in the tournament at all is going to go be seated where Gonzaga was? Yeah. That makes no sense. Chris said $1 billion is, is, is why they will replace teams. Dead air time is worthless. Yeah. Right. I mean, the thing is, is it's COVID times. We can't have a regular March Madness. Nope. You got to do with what you got. Nope. Like, And, you know, it kind of creates a little bit more excitement. Like Gonzaga, for instance, if they just, Gonzaga. like, get right in there, like, that's something that would never happen. You need to look at this as, like, a once in a lifetime A lot of things will never happen. The pandemic will never happen. Things happen. Right. So how? So so. There's so no we're, way we're gonna so, cancel so the 2021 it, or 2020 you, Final Four because you can't re because you can't re bracket and say okay now you guys aren't playing this team this team is gonna play you have to do that just you're gonna go here you're gonna play you have an opportunity yeah. you have an opportunity to be a Cinderella team rise to the occasion so correct but you have some teams like that though yeah I mean, look at MSU say MSU miss it and then Gonzaga goes out and they throw MSU in there. See, that's what I don't understand. They have to be they have to be bracketed somewhere. Like if Michigan State is just out of the tournament, let's say let's for the sake of an argument, yeah. they're just you can't fire them in at like where a two, a three, or a four. You would have to 
you would have to find a way to put them in around 11, like where they would normally get in. If, right. If, if they're That's just why left it doesn't out. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it, that, that, but, I'm but having you, a tough you, time. But you, but you have to think, though. Ticket sales, uh, things of that. I mean, they have, instead of changing one team's ticket sales, now they have to go do another. Now, this is right. the business side of it. So the best thing to do is say, you know what? We'll take this loss. You're gonna put, we're going to put you here. Hey. Oh, Art's got luck. something. Hi, uh, Art. I, yeah, I have a question. So, nightmare situation. I don't even want to say it, but correct me if I'm wrong. So, if someone on the Michigan team was to get COVID, are they out of the talking? bracket? Why that's my guess. That's, I'm asking a question, like, like, Joy. Are, are, oh, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's my guess. I, I don't know 100%. I mean, could you imagine, I, I don't though, know. like, Michigan makes it to the Final Four, then they get caught. A team like, that could win it all, too. Let right, me. I, yeah. I want to stress. Like, sir, if you haven't figured out that Michigan is capable of winning it all, like, you aren't paying attention. They, they are. Now, this tournament, there's a reason why it's called the tournament. It, it's unlike anything else. I mean, it's difficult to go win six games, okay? It just is. But what are the chances? You've got all these different teams. What are the chances that we make it through the entire bracket without an incident? happening it's not there, it's happen. impossible it's, it's impossible. not happening what that no one gets covid for the entire tournament why can't that happen i mean they're in indianapolis but they're still switching locations are they oh they're, so they're not in the bubble so oh. like i thought they were doing a bubble that's what i thought too i thought they were doing a bubble the bubble is like indiana basically is what i oh, said so they put a bubble all around indianapolis <laughs> yeah i'm just <laughs> i'm just dropped in the middle of it too while i'm okay. at school all right but are like, they gonna be hanging out in your campus yeah, they'll be yeah. at Butler. Yeah. So That's pretty cool. So Butler just sent out an email and was like, you all have to be so good if you want the tournament to come. Like, wear your masks everywhere. And I was like, well, yeah, but they're just... going to be at Purdue, IU, Banker's Life. There's no way. There, this... like... do, you remember, do you remember the Final Four when, when it was here in Detroit? Yeah. Oh, it was good times. You worked, right? Didn't you work? Weren't you working? No. I no, was... no. You had a... Work permit, I, right? No, nobody, so nobody knows it. So I did campus security, right? And uh, my, my. Uh, you mean you did? You were a security guard at Ford Field? I never heard that story before. No, 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 no. This is for Wayne State. Okay. So this is for Wayne. So I'm working for. I'm, so I'm working for the police as a student cadet. So we're just like pay snitches, but I wasn't really snitching up for real. So my badge <laughs> number was three one three. All right, and so. Uh, the game was that night, but my brother had an all SS pass that he gave me early on in the year. I told you about yeah. it. And uh, it was MSU, and they were playing uh, North Carolina. And I'm like, I got to go to this game. I got to go to this game. And so my best friend at the time, he had a ticket because one of his friends played on the team uh, for Flint. And so he had a ticket, and I said, I'm going to see if I can get in with just my badge without a ticket. And so um, I go through the line. I go through the front, line, front, like, through the front door. I said, listen. Uh, I work here. I showed him my all SS pass, and the old guy was like, "Oh yeah, he works here. Let, let him through it because it was the all SS pass." So I, I walked through, and my friend saw me walking. He like, "Oh, we, we're in here now." So he go gets his ticket, and we go down to the seats, and somehow, some way, it was a seat down there for me. It was a seat. Down. So I'm sitting by. It's amazing his, how that works out, yeah, isn't it? Sitting right next to his family, and just so we're about three or four seats from the steps. And right on the steps is Major Johnson and, and Anita Baker, like right there, sitting right next oh, to you. You were caught up in the rapture. Oh, oh, oh! I was, hey, I was, I was hanging around the right people. Hey, I was hanging around the right people. And uh, but no, man. And uh, I remember I left my, I was on duty because I didn't get off until eleven o'clock, and the game was, I think, like at eight. So I told my, uh, I told my roommate, like, listen, keep, keep my radio. If you hear them say anything about three one three, just pick it up. And, and and just respond. Hey, this is three one three, right? And when eleven o'clock hit, say this is three one three reporting out, and just leave it alone. And that's what he did for me. Never got in trouble. This is a lesson for you kids out there. Uh, be skirt you, any responsibility you have. <laughs> if you have a job, don't do it. Uh, go out and watch some basketball hey, games. This is and, and, and this is the worst time. People. This is a time in college where you make bonehead mistakes. It's true, hmm. but it was a, it was a memory, and I'll never forget. It was a good time, and uh, I'm glad I did it. Bill said, uh, "Your boy Bill Bentley, Joik with the dashiki." Is, did I pronounce it correctly? Uh, dashiki. dashiki, dashiki, dashiki shirt. You know, I might not go get wings, wings it's and a, pizza. And, now. and just for Bill, no, now like I'm for the first about some Jamaican food. So for the first episode, I had another custom made 
uh, African wear outfit. And so for the last episode of Black History Month, I'm like, I'm gonna end it with this one. So um, that's why I have it on. Yeah, uh, sure. You know, somebody, one of the guys posting his Woodward Sports said the same thing. Uh, with fantasy sports, I didn't play this year because it just didn't make sense. I'd rather do the daily stuff. I, honestly, I look at it. If I told you how much one of my leagues was, you wouldn't believe me, and I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you off the air. Um, but um, mm. my Four it's, figures. An, it's an it's an investment. It Four is. Yeah. It, it's it's an investment. Why am I gonna now? I'm, I'm going to think about this. You're investing. Joy, your... I want you to think about if if. Somebody says to you, Joyke, I got this great investment for you. You could you could make a ton of money. Uh, well, tell me about it. Well, I'm unsure about this. I'm unsure about that. That might not happen. This might not happen. But I want you in. Um, no, right? And that that's the way that I looked at. That's the way I looked at fantasy sports this year. This game might not play. That guy might get COVID. That guy might get COVID. They might miss a, a week of games. You know, looking at the baseball schedule. So I'm like, um, why would I? Why? Why am I going to pay that money to do that? Right. It's, it's not going to happen. It sucks. So I, I hope this year's different. We're tentatively planning to do our baseball season again, which was an absolute waste last year. It was just a waste. You know, but at that time we didn't know. But at football, by the time football season came, it's like, I'm not doing this. I'm not spending $1,000. What? <laughs> like, Speaking of snitching. <laughs> I snitched on myself. Wow, what a yeah, dumb thousand dollars! One of my leagues is a thousand dollars. Why would I? Why would I do that? What, yeah. what, what, uh, 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 what's the win? Um, what's what's yeah. the winnings? All right, so the way this one works, like this is Big this one. is really screwed up. Rewards. So it's a thousand dollars per, but every transaction, every transaction, is twenty five dollars. If you pick somebody up, if you drop somebody, if we make a trade, oh, that would be impossible so, so this year. It, it's very, it's very. One year, one year, I'm, I'm not joking, 12-man league, I won $17,000. There was another year. Kind of bargain. Yeah, there, yeah. There, there was another year I was like. More than that? Yeah. Was that about what, 19? It was a very, it was a very good. Was it, it was a very good Christmas, and it was interesting how Christmas. Is it 20? It was it was interesting 30, it was how Christmas extended to Hawaii. I don't know how it happened, but somehow we went right from Christmas to Oh my gosh! I'm in Hawaii. Can this is incredible. Can you imagine what you can do with twenty six thousand dollars? Go to Hawaii, I guess. You could probably take a trip to Hawaii and put aside a bunch of money for your son's school. At the time, I thought he was going to Michigan State. Um, I'm glad I put that money aside because he ended up going to DePaul, yeah. which a is of, a, a, a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hit me with that trifecta. Thanks. Out of state. Private, Catholic, out of state. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jack. Much love. The trifecta of terror is what it was. Let's be honest. So, gosh. Yeah. So, gosh. but but do you understand my point? I mean, it's like it's this is stupid. Why are we doing this? Why are we like here? Let me give you an example, okay? No, I'm just I'm still. This past year, the Denver Broncos. Remember when the NFL said you I'm don't sorry. have a quarterback? I'm, not even talking, I'm still talking about how much you're paying for school, and it's just this is what I got to get ready for, huh? Yeah. Don't send your kids to Butler if you want to save money. You know what though, man. I, I heard this a while ago. It said uh, you can either save a little now, or you can ask for a lot later. Mm. And so, you're prepared. Have you been doing? Have you? I have. So I you've have. been making contributions into what's it? The, the five twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine. Five twenty nine. There, yes. What's the other one too? There's a. Uh, you have the five twenty. So you have a five twenty nine one where you have like they'll do it for you, or you have the five twenty nine where you can do it yourself, and. You'll save money. I think they get ten percent, depending on who you go with. Like some banks or some people, when they brokers, they'll take ten percent, uh, whatever it makes. My daughter's a sophomore in high school, and we think that her school's paid for already. We think, mm. dang, which is really cool. Mm. Jax was paid for beforehand, but then what you don't take into consideration, and this is now learning experience for child number two, is you don't take into consideration costs. And the costs of a 20-year-old, 21-year-old, 22-year-old kid living in Chicago, oh. I did not take that into consideration. Yeah. 
So I've been hustling a lot the last couple of years. There's no other I'm way sure. to say that. Yeah. By the way, if anybody needs the floor of their shop swept, I'm available tonight between <laughs> 1 and 3 a.m. I will put a shine to your floor. Shine but no, is a you, great dad. No, shine you know, is a great dad. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I aspire that, to be like Shine. That's that's what you you, you got to do. My daughter is talking about, though, of all places, I think I told you, she, she wants to go to Notre Dame. She, that's that's like her yeah, be-all. Well, you know, that was mine, all. too. I said, that's honey, I'll, I said, if you... If you, well, she has the grades. That's where I wanted to go, yeah. She has the grades, as, as Kennedy can probably tell you. It's next to impossible to get in. You need the grades, yep. you need the SAT, yep. and you need some luck. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why I, I, I was very upfront with her. I said, honey, if you can get into Notre Dame, I'll find a way to get it done. Don't worry about it. Well, uh, one but, of those Rudy moments. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> what, the ACT is out of what, 36? Yeah. You need a 34 to even get considered. Yep. To go to Notre Dame, and they'll tell you that the second you step foot into yep. one of their yep. step for what for the ACT. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So they then won't even they I, throw I it still, away if it's not at least a thirty-four. I still don't know the reasoning for this, but you, her second choice because I was very blunt with her. I said, "Listen, the likelihood of you getting into Notre Dame is very small. I'm not saying you can't do it, right? But I just I, I said I'm not being your father unless I tell you that the chances are this small. Mm-hmm. Do you have another one? And she. I have no idea. I didn't ask. She just goes, SMU, Southern Methodist down in Dallas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. If that's where you want to go, that's that's fine. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, you like, Joy, you're going to be going through it. Just you think you have it all, and then there are other costs that pop up, and you're like, where the hell did that come from? You know? So maybe some less wings and pizza. So when you done, maybe, so when it's all said and done. Maybe some ramen noodles. So when you, when, hold up. So this is, when it's all said and done, and this is not what you have to pay for, but four years at DePaul, what is that? I don't, I'm not telling you. Uh, it's, no, I'm not telling, it's, you can look it up. It's public. I would assume it's bu- It's near Butler at right, like but 60K. How, how, much, how much is it a semester? 30? Probably around 30, I'm not yeah. telling you. How about I'm not telling you? Dang. Look it up. Rip. It's look! Look fun. at I'm. I'm serious. Look! Look, look it up. It's. It's just. Hey, it's one of those do, things. Do the numbers under the table. You can. You can. You can look it up. It's easy accessible. So do you? Okay. There's one of those, and then okay. there's another one of those. And then we need to take a break, and we're going to have a very special guest coming on with us momentarily. Don't go anywhere. Joy Bell. Kennedy Broadwell. Sean Belize. All right, go to break so and we can talk. And special guest. When we come back. Hey, it's Joey from Woodward Sports, and I am here in downtown Fan at Bridge Street Exchange. This place has so many amazing things for guys. And ladies, this is the hidden spot that you got to come check out. I'm talking thorough good boots, best boots ever. They have barware. They got the Stormy Cromer hats. They got Carhartt hats, a huge Carhartt selection. They even got Snoop Dogg underwear. So go check them out, bridgestreetexchange.com. And use the code word WSN for 15% off. What up, Doe? Glad you could join us. I I just laugh every time I say it. I sound so white every time I say it. What up, Doe? So during the break, we did something really cool. It was really quick. Um, Like I told you, we changed the name of the show to um, Two Thorns in a Rose. And I don't know how Kennedy did that, but she went in the back and did a makeover. And now, look. Alakazam, Alakazoo. <laughs> now we have Pilar for you. Yeah. Uh, you know Listen what? You guys are over I can, here. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm from Livonia. We we rap. We we've, we've seen hard times and everything. Yeah, give us so give us one bar. We I can't give us rap. one bar. No, you know what I can do? I can tell you we're very excited to have a new show here on Woodward Sports, and this is going to be part of that show right here. Her name is Pilar. Pilar, first of all, welcome to the welcome to the family. Welcome. Thanks so much. You know what? That's exactly what it feels like here. It feels like one big family. There we are. So, yep, our show starts Monday. We're live 3 to 5, The Hook. It's myself, Tom Maz, and D-Mac. 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 Yeah. I'm sure he was here. Was he on your show already? Yeah, yeah. He, no, no. The, we had him before. Detroit. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, had him Red before. Wings. Yeah, he came on. He came on, and, you know, the... It was so funny because did you? I wish you had that clip when Darren first came on. He first came on. I was sitting here just looking like this, watching him walk around the table. Because my first time meeting Darren, and uh, I, I think Sean caught. Did, did you catch that, Sean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember. You remember that? Yeah. And then uh, instantly, me and D Mac just became like best friends. That's that's good people. Yeah, he's got like that 
that charisma that you instantly just feel like, oh man, we've known each other forever. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah he does. needs to get more hype when the camera goes on. He just he's too oh, calm. No. He just doesn't yeah. doesn't say a lot and everything. It's no, it's going to be fun. And it, I, I want to echo what you said. And this is you know a lot of times when we talk with the people out there, it it really is as Pilar described. This is there's just a cool vibe here. It starts at the top with Chad. Uh, it goes down to Stick. It, it goes down to Tim McCollum. Everybody here. The only thing that we have to work on, Pilar, is maybe you can help between Art and Joyke. Art and Joyke just don't like each other. There's tension in the room on a daily basis. Maybe you can help with that. I don't. It's I like, don't believe that. Oh no. No, they'll both no. tell you it's true. It. They'll both tell you it's I'll believe true. It. Art's the nicest guy ever. No, look Thank at you. that face. Like I know. Thank look you. at that face. Thank you. You know That's, why? I'm just look, trying. I mean, look at that face. This is make you, you want to just punch it. Punch no. it. Yeah, punch he it. Said punch, punch it like it. you're squeezing his cheek. Punch it. Yeah. Like, punch it. Punch it. Like, I see what you're you going with. Like that. So when does don't do that? No. Oh, see, look at him. No, 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 no. I know what Drake said. He's like, oh, you just so cute. You know, just squeezing the cheeks and they get. We're supposed to be friends. You're not on Joyce's side. I don't take sides, guys. I don't take sides, guys. Took another one away from me. Good job, Joyk. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're no, all no, 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 no. You don't have to explain yourself. No, anymore. listen. Art is so cool. He's just cool, calm, and collected. I think it's because he's got so many kids. No, no. He go home and get For that WAP. That, um, wings get and that pizza. WAP? Yeah, wings, wings and pizza. pizza. Wings and pizza. Don't. Uh, sorry that you jumped into this. Water. Yeah, it was oh, just. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm the. Wait, so it's okay if I go home and I tell my husband, honey, where's that WAP? Yeah, can I have some? I think you tell your husband that. He's going to be like, what? <laughs> Y'all don't be telling me stuff. Right, Y'all why don't you yell at her like stuff. you yelled at me? Don't you get over here. See, get over here. Don't be there. laughing. <laughs> you guys do not be putting me into situations that are going to get me in trouble by the things that I say. I would avoid no. that word at all costs. No, just no, avoid no, no, that. No, 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 Art's being red right laughing. He yelled that. at me when no, I said, I'm right. Sean Belegian for what? Stop. I Come love on, you to WAP every pizza. day yeah, after I work. Go home like... Wings so like, and pizza. So like, babe, I'm coming home. I'm, I'm bringing home some wop, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm on the way home. <laughs> Take care, everybody. No. <laughs> Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. You're going to ruin, ruin my marriage. This is either going to ruin my marriage. This is going to make it better. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna come home to some, like, Jim, Jimmy Choo's or something. <laughs> like a new gotta, purse or something. No, you're going to come home to some new purse, a new Chanel bag. You're going to get that new range you wanted. you going <laughs> to... I wish. Me, I, listen to if me. Wings, I, I, if wings and pizza is going to get me Chanel and a Range oh yeah. Rover, I mean. I'm a very simple man. You give me some wings and pizza, I'm happy. So that's where, it, like, they played a dirty trick on the old guy. Let's have fun at the old guy's expense. And I'm going, of course I want WAP. Yeah. But it's like, no, I don't. <laughs> but so what I, is what, wings no, and pizza? No, it's it's pizza we, right? we don't have yeah, enough time. Why do you not want? I don't get it. No, huh? it's an acronym for something else that's extremely inappropriate. Let's yeah, they, they, they uh, you got, no, they were trying. Right. No, yeah, right. I take back my high five. <laughs> Return. No, <laughs> Return. it's not inappropriate. <laughs> there no. no, first of all, it's an acronym. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yes, we yes. were friends. We were here we are, for a we minute, are but now. Pilar. That's You're going to get would, would I ever? Would I ever? Yes, but you, you would. Did. Would I ever? But yes, you did. I would never. Yes, you did. I would never. I love wings Let's and have pizza. Fun. I, I wings and pizza. I used to love wings and pizza. Or the new girl. No. What's up? She's Mine was the, the new girl. girl. We're Why all don't we family chastise here. them? <laughs> we're all family here. No, we are. Yeah, wait. Let's we get back to the family friends. thing. Let's get let's get but back our, to the family. Get, get so, all right, I got you. You guys are starting. You guys are starting Monday, and right? We got, yes, we start Monday. Tell us about the show because yeah. it's funny. We watch when we sit in here. What people don't know out there is there's like a glass meeting room right next to us, and it's so funny watching some of these meetings because uh, uh, oftentimes in these meetings you have McCarty or you have Chad, and both of them are just so animated. And, and I find myself kind of watching them in the other room. How's that been? How's that process been trying to get on the same page? Um, well, so it's kind of my job to kind of decipher what everybody's saying and, and bring it all together and organize it and keep things moving. So when both of them are in the same room, and I'm pretty high energy myself, you know, mm -hmm. so um, I feel that everybody's energy is so high, and then there's, there's me just kind of being like, okay, so... So you're the Back me of the room. Back to the show. I'm the what? So you're the me of you're you're the me of that room. <laughs> you're the me of that room. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like you're the one who stirs the Stir. pot a oh. little bit. And the quiet one uh, is the biggest I, statement I, ever. My I, goodness. Dang, Sean. You love to stir the pot. Tell me how you really feel. You love to stir the pot. Uh, do I? 
Yes, I'm yes, using, you do. I'm the calm one. But that, I'm yeah. the relaxed. <laughs> so those what are the I ones. Ever? Those, those are the ones. It's the calm ones, and I know that because a lot of times, like when there, when there's calm in my house, I got two kids and a husband. You know something's going on. You know? yep. God bless my, you. When there's calm, my husband's like, oh, pull hey. up to something. Hey, pull this was up the, to this, this for art. Hey, hey. <laughs> Y'all better be in that toilet. <laughs> Y'all better be in that toilet. <laughs> How old are your kids? Um, I have a seven-month-old and a two-year-old. Oh, God bless you. Yes. It's such a fun time. It really, really is. They you, grow you, so fast. You hear this all the time. Well, to, to that point, you're going to wake up, and then all of a sudden you're going to be sitting there going, my son's 21 now, uh, my daughter's 16. And it's like, how? How? How, Wait, how did, where, where did how? it all go? So, so how are they now? Two. Two and... And six months. Well, seven months now. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Congratulations. awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Now, you, did, Pilar, did you grow up around here and everything? I didn't. So I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. And then when I was 19, I moved to Los Angeles, California. And then, you know, I met my husband. I fell in love. And he said, we're moving to Detroit. And I was Why like, Detroit? Well, because that's where he lives. Oh. I know. Mm. I thought I could get him to come to LA, to LA oh, right? And, and pay and pay two you know thousand and, and pay and pay five thousand a month for a one bedroom <laughs> apartment. Listen, we're gonna have. <laughs> yeah. a, we're gonna I do. I had our, my pay, my place out there. All you had to do is just move right in. We're gonna mm. do our All experiment. Do Pilar right doesn't in. even know she's she's gonna be part of our experiment. Is this a social experiment? In, in a way, you can say that. You know, you I'm know, new. I'm new he and I are always too. fond of saying, "Okay, I I've been fortunate to be in this business now almost twenty six years." Joyke obviously played football and everything people's misconception and preconceived notions about detroit and the realities of this area are two entirely different things and i, I love watching new people so i want to hear your perspective you're probably thinking why don't what? you just take me to right, hell right. instead of detroit i mean right. and, and, and now you've been here for a while uh, yep i've been here for five years now okay. and uh, listen i love detroit i love it when people start talking trash about detroit i'm like what Dude, we're Motown, baby. Amen. Like, have you started watching some of these documentaries that are happening now? We're Motown. Like, we got soul here. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. We got seasons. We got snow. <laughs> yeah. But I don't really like the snow. But I do. Whenever I'm I'm arguing about all the good things about Detroit, I'm like, yeah. we got snow. No, we, we get all four seasons. <laughs> and you do. know the good thing about it? You can get all four seasons in one day here. I, exactly. That makes that what exactly. makes the, <laughs> what makes Michigan so unique. We can get snow, <laughs> hell, rain. And it'd be 70 degrees at and five. That, uh, right, exactly. Oh and as you all so know, but, this time of year right now, is, I call it the dirty, rotten trick. Because yes. we think that winter's over. We've over. had a couple. Yeah, we had a couple 50 degree days. It's going to be 60 next week. There are five more snowstorms coming. Just easily. set your watch to it. That's, that's this area, right? Easily, easily. So, so I, I like being. What? How did you like the polar vortex? That we just. Mm. Had so this so, is like that was like what last year or year before last yeah a couple of years ago yeah, we had that ago, we no had that so vortex. that polar vortex I think was actually like it was like five winters ago I missed that one oh okay. I yep I missed that one we had another no we had another one after that Did uh, we? like within like the last. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, here's the thing. When it's cold, I don't know. It, when it's cold and snowing, I stay inside. Mm. I'm not a big fan of it. My daughter's like, she's, she stands out by the window. And she's like, snow, snow. And I'm like, isn't it pretty from the inside? So every now and then, I have to be a good mom and yeah. put on her snow gear and, and yeah. take her out. But, and it's cool, the but, snow, that's, but that's the thing That's the thing that I love about the wintertime because you can have your blinds up. You can see the snow coming down. It looks so cold outside. You can have the fireplace on on the inside while you're watching that. Drinking your hot chocolate. Drinking the hot chocolate right? yep. with the TV on. Actually, that's why I got my daughter for Valentine's Day. We got these two big um, coffee Valentine's Day coffee mugs oh. for hot chocolate. I love this that. It's cute. I love hey, that. Hey, yeah. do me a favor. So, Get the camera on Pilar again and put that that heading up. That was pretty cool. Pilar, I want you to look which, at that camera. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? There you go, uh, Pilar. Look at we're, we're showing March you some light. Isn't that cool? I love yeah. That. Look at that. Make sure Thank you check yeah. it out. Pilar, check it out. one of the newest members of our family. Three o'clock on Monday. We're happy to have her. Now, how much did you know of Maz and and D Mac? Are, are you guys, you know, just newly getting acquainted, or were you familiar with either of them in any way? No. Well, so actually, I worked in radio since two thousand and eight. Sorry and to then, hear that. No. I love 
love it. I had I love my it. whole everybody, life. It's miserable. Everybody always said Polari. I thought you, you loved it. I, I do thought love radio. You died I, I do love you're radio. Kick me I'm out of here lie. before I leave. They're gonna have to. They're gonna kick me out you know. before. I'm gonna you die. Have so funny yeah. over here. Yeah. <laughs> so animated. Look at him. He loves it. That's the believe you Is that is that is that is that starting up? That was a certain Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get Yes, live show by the way, Steve. Be live. Everything here is live. We do. Well, it'll definitely be live. Um, which is a lot of fun when you're working with DMAC. You know, Tom is very much. I call him like the Detroit dad. He's always like so well put together. But you get that guy started, he is like an encyclopedia of sports knowledge. He is a real historian. So I love to to get him started. I love to hear DMAC stories, you know. And the whole thing about our show, um, Darren is very much about the why. Why, 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 why? And so, so everything that we talk about is something very personal and sports for us, we're very passionate about. He's very much involved in the community. I'm very much involved in the community. Mm. He, um, Tom's got th three girls. So we're all very big into the community. So right. we have a lot of fun on the show. Um, it, we play some deal or no deal with them. And it, yeah, I try to try to have some fun with them. It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a good show. So y'all tune in. But um, I was saying prior to that, I've worked in radio since 2000 and, and like eight. In 2010, I started covering fantasy sports, uh, primarily fantasy football. So I was already kind of familiar with the sports world. Right. Why are you looking at me? You raised anyway. You don't like. Go. No, I'm like, you, you don't like fantasy sports experts. Like, no, I'm <laughs> listening. You, ra you raised your eyebrow. A lot of, a lot of um, athletes. Don't play fantasy. But some Would do. You, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like or them. sometimes, you know, it's like you, you like us until – Y'all's career is not benefiting <laughs> our fantasy world. No. And then and then you start hearing the guys be like, this is real football. This is real football. I'm like, I understand, but this is real fantasy, too. <laughs> no, I think it's good for the – no, I think fantasy football is good for the sport because it gets people who might not be into football Absolutely. into football. I just never played fantasy ever. When I played or when I didn't play, I just never got into it. I did a fantasy show, True Story Pilar. I started in 2003, and I did it on radio and television locally here. And back then, I always used to use the, the phrase, a lot of fantasy players, it was almost like we were in the closet, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't do that. That's for the nerds. I, I don't do that. And then something happened maybe about 12, 13 years ago where it, it just blew up. I don't blew know up. how it happened. I don't know well, what it was. It just daily, it blew up. It, it it's really a multi-million oh, dollar incredible. industry. Yep. I, mean, the amount, I know yeah. a friend of mine yeah. who's won a million dollars twice on like DraftKings and Vandal. He hit that big jackpot twice. What? Yes. I mean, think about how hard it is for you to make a million dollars. I mean, that's some real... My Sweat, first million it was difficult. My second million <laughs> was old hat. But you know, in one season to win two million dollars oh, because insane. you're playing daily fantasy football, I mean that's real money. One woman won it just out of one ticket. God bless. Oh no 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 wait, it wasn't one ticket. It was seven tickets is what she bought. God I bless mean, that's America. Insane, you know. So How when much you start spend on those tickets, things, they're twenty dollar tickets. She paid. See, the businessman in both you know of us so right it's now. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. You start thinking about it. But it's, there's really a skill to it, you right? Pay you taxes. do your... you have to pay taxes on that million? Of course you do. You got to pay taxes on everything. Joy, do you you got to pay taxes on thugs. money you the dreamt of. The government's a bunch of thugs. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of thugs you are. Let's move to Florida, right? You mean and Dama can sue. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, Chad, make some room for us, man. Let me get that same room I had last time. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, so I feel that with daily sports, you know, and the amount of money that people are actually winning in the whole world of fantasy sports, it's just blown up. It's I heard it's you insane. dropped y'all, by the way. You did. And that, a lot. That, no, that makes me happy because, like, uh, I'm a big barbecue guy. I Texas, love some good right? barbecue. Texas is known. There is nothing better. Hold now, Joy, you oh, know this no. about me. No, 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 no. Brisket. She don't, she's going to have to. You have to try some of his barbecue Thank really you. appreciate smoke. it brisket uh, i can't nothing wait better. to try it you, you give me you give me and i like it texas style where i don't i don't have to put a bunch of stuff on them you know what i put my my salt and my pepper on there 
and then some more pepper, and then even more pepper after that. Oh, okay. Make that good Texas brisket. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So you're coming over the house. You don't I know it yet. I but can't wait. You and your husband, the kids, come over I, the house. We have big barbecues at my I house. Don't think all the time. I don't can have brisket yet. I'm, well, the, who? Your seven, seven month, month old? Yeah. Cool. So my well, son doesn't have month. to try it, but I can certainly try it. My husband and I will try like it. You guys, yeah. He'll make enough you guys to take home to. I I'll think it's great that. for a seven month well, old. Know, it melts in your mouth, right? <laughs> you don't have to, there's no chewing involved. It just, if you make it's like brisket, butter. Right, right. No. Meat butter. See that? It she knows what you butter. Meat butter. That, what you say? He has this test where he holds it up and it has to jiggle. Jiggle. You gotta hold it up. I need my jiggles. jiggles then it's, I do that with like my armpit too. <laughs> if I hold <laughs> up my armpit, I gotta start working on my bicep. You know I, I don't think it's the lady professor where he he goes into the restaurant. He holds up the lady arm. He see, see that jiggle back there. <laughs> 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 Are you yeah. remember that part? <laughs> That's <laughs> No, so were you familiar with Mac? I mean, you know, mm-hmm. I, I know you're yeah. in Texas and everything. I don't know how big it is in the San Antonio area. I mean, he's he's a Detroit icon. I mean, he really big time. is. Yeah, big so. time. Well, coming coming to Detroit, um, you know, I was I was still working for Fantasy Sports Radio on Sirius XM. So when you're covering fantasy sports, you if you move into a new city, you really need to Dive immerse in. yourself into the culture, into the sports. And it doesn't matter how great they are or what kind of a lull that team is having that uh-huh. season or the following season or the season after that. You know, if they, maybe they're just stuck in a lull. Yeah. <laughs> you dive in and you you get to know yeah. the, the good times and the bad times. So I was very familiar so with that. So you moved here, what, 15, 16? No. We're in 21 to 17. Okay. Look, math is not my strong point. Oh, no, no, it's not good. Subtract so, five from 21. <laughs> okay, so 16. Okay, so you got here in 16. All right, cool. 16? Yeah. Okay. Do you know why he's saying that? Hey, listen, I'm, I'm going to spell oh, it out no, for you. Because you want to know when... Because when you, you might have got... You, no, because that was my last year. Okay. So yeah, were you, you here when Joyke was playing is basically yeah. what he's asking. Yeah. No, I can't. It was after. Okay, so, okay, so 17. Okay. Yeah. By the way, start yeah. a new career in an industry that is always essential, the heating and cooling industry. Learn more today by visiting northwesterntech.edu. In case you're wondering who this uh, fantastic human being is in the middle of us, this is Pilar. She's going to be part of our new morning show here on Woodward Sport or morning show, afternoon show here on Woodward Sports. I just fired Stick. Uh-huh. Congratulations. Welcome She's going to gonna be on in the afternoon. Uh, the Hook with Pilar. D Mac and Tom Masway that drops on Monday. Yes, can we have to raise seven, his hand, please? Drops. Because they're talking and they're having a blast and getting to know each other, and I don't like it. You're <laughs> not going to steal my new friend. I'm Wait, sick of it. Are, I Why, want are, you to know. I, I sorry. Oh, stick. Hold on, you know I, I'm funny. sorry. You listen, know how you saw, hold on, Pilar, so listen, much drama is being listen. caused. Here comes Stick. Who told him he lost his job? I'm no, sorry, Stick. Everybody's got their job. I'm sorry. Everybody's got their listen, job. Listen, Art, we're still friends. I don't Joy, believe you. I don't believe you. Listen, listen. I want you to know. That while Joyke was talking to me, I was kind of like, shh, shh, we're on air. Thank like, you. Sean's like, shh, shh, shh. Your A mic real is media hot. professional. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to something I said even before the show. If we could all be more like fish in life, do you know how nice our life would be? That's that's <laughs> like fish. Seriously, you're just a nice guy. You walk around. You do your job. You always have a kind word for somebody. We all need to learn the life lessons of fish, right? Fish, have you met something. Fish? What's, yeah, one we, of the best. Love the kid. Great guy. Love the Very guy. Very nice guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Know, everybody's nice. I haven't met somebody who's not nice. No, no, right everybody here is nice. So, you know, it's funny how the Michigander. I'm talking to Pilar, and and we're right. We're having our, you know, we having our bond of time because we never get to talk because you're always in there. And now he took Kennedy for me because Kennedy is my. Be- so Kennedy, what's going on, Kennedy? What? I miss no. You. I miss you. No. Stop Kennedy, it. what? Go home, Joy. Kennedy, go home. Really? Stop in here. Kennedy, pick a side. Okay, right the now, bigger. Kennedy, no, pick a side. Pick the middle. Pick Kennedy, side, pick Kennedy. the middle. Yeah, that way, you middle, got one arm. The middle. Pick the middle. That's when I talked about art did. earlier, we was high fiving about it, and now you're we were you're fraternizing we with the enemy. You're fraternizing with the enemy. I love everybody in this you life. You are a friend I do. Runer. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be a part of this. I love Pilar. I love Joyke. I love. It's Art, too late I for love that. Kennedy. Pick a side. And for the I people can't. who don't, and for the people who don't know, Kennedy is on the market. 
and she wants a guy that's nice. And if you guys have an opportunity, make sure you send something to the Wolverine. And I'm going to tell you what. And her father's in the other room, so make sure it has to impress him because he's going to be one. Listen to me. You don't have to worry about her father. You know, you have to get past. You have to get past him. Like it's going to be. It's going to be like the three levels of hell. First, her dad. Then there's me, and then the final test will be Joy. And if you don't pass the test, we're going to beat the hell out of you. you I'm just telling you that, right? And Art will come in and drop the final nail on you. You better treat Kennedy right, you know, maybe come young come out the dashiki. <laughs> <laughs> what? The dashiki. What is that dashiki? His shirt. My shirt. Oh. That's why I we have Black like History an... Month. <laughs> Black History Month. Come on, Pilar. I got it. So yeah, what do you guys have coming up on Monday? Is there is there anything you guys... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's never coming thing. on with us again. This is a <laughs> one-time <laughs> engagement. She's never coming on Please come, come back. back. Please come I back. Thought, I thought that this was like another wings and pizza Yeah, yeah she doesn't want like... wings and pizza. She doesn't want to on this stage. I'm going to go home and never. tell my husband, do listen. No. In <laughs> my, in my, no, I'm going to be like, to my husband and my little Latina attitude. Don't you make me take off my hoops and come out of my what did you what did dashiki. you and come out of my dashiki with my wop? No, <laughs> stop saying it. Stop saying Keep it. Saying it. No. I love her. I love her. <laughs> my marriage is gonna her, come bro. to an end. She gotta come. You know what, Kennedy? By next week. You and I are going to be on the market together, aren't we? <laughs> These guys are going to no. be the end of my marriage. She, she said no, 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 I'm not. Oh, she said no. She said, she I'm said, don't you, I'm single. You can be my wingman, but don't you come out here being single with me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Can we do this? We're both going to go out. We're going to go out to, like, Happy hour in, oh. in our. How do we find you? <laughs> How do we find what do you call? Me? We're very happy that we found you. What do you? Stop the talking about. Stop it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Hey. Art, right, relax. I like his shirt. Thank you. I, I have a sweater. Oh, oh we're so happy to have you here. Our culture, man. Yeah, it's culture, right? Where's McCarty and Joy? Culture. I like culture. to be. Culture. I like to be cultured. Thank you. All right, listen. We have one He's more. He's not cultured. We have one more Black History Month thing to throw at you, but before we uh, bid you adieu, uh, Pilar, anything uh, special coming up on Monday? Anything that you want to talk about in regards to the show and what people can expect on 3? Yes. Uh, Monday, I'm telling you guys, his T-Max story during story time is going to be one of the best. We've been doing our practice shows, and I've saved my favorite story for our opening show on Monday, so you do not want to miss our opening show on Monday. 3 o'clock Monday right here on the Woodward Sports Network. It just seems like a fun person. I'm looking forward to going home and watching the show myself. Pilar, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you guys so much for like, having literally, me. Like, literally, we just met. This is not a joke. Like, we, we literally, five minutes before the show, hey, we have a guest on your show today. Cool. It's your co-worker. Well, I guess it'll be nice to meet her, you know. So that's literally what happened today. So you'll fit in nicely around for here. Sure. Uh, I love you guys. Y'all, nah, y'all take no, it no. easy. Hey, tell on art. We're take gonna love you. You're gonna fit right in. So um, for our last Black History in two minutes, um, we're gonna have a quick segment. A quick segment about uh, Malcolm X, uh, who, after joining the Nation of Islam, uh, was known as a human rights activist. So. Take a look. Malcolm X's strident critique of the nonviolent philosophy of the civil rights movement sowed the seeds for the flowering of black nationalism in the second half of the 1960s. Malcolm spent his youth in northern and midwestern cities, but he was profoundly transformed in prison when he joined the Nation of Islam, a religious movement led by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It combined black nationalism with the Islamic faith and embrace the concept of black self-defense. Malcolm X realized that while Martin Luther King was preaching nonviolence and peace, you had to send a message. He was a warrior, he was a general, and they feared him. Malcolm encouraged his followers to achieve empowerment. By any means necessary, we intend to fire our people up so much until if they can't have their equal share in the house, They'll burn it down. Dr. King felt that Malcolm's talk of violence was counterproductive and ultimately would, quote, reap nothing but grief. The Negroes themselves should take whatever steps necessary to defend themselves. 
Malcolm X's influence was profound in terms of the way African Americans looked at themselves and the way that the nation began to look at them. It called for black dignity, black self-respect. Malcolm was adamant that words associated with slavery, such as Negro and colored, should be discarded for black and Afro-American. His theories and his philosophy form the foundation of the ideology of black power. Malcolm X is the key common denominator for all black power activists. They use his speeches, they use his political thought, both in the Nation of Islam and outside of the Nation of Islam, as a sort of blueprint or framework for their own political activism. The tensions that have been building between Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm reached a breaking point after Malcolm made a controversial comment following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, leading to a bitter split. Facing a spiritual crisis, Malcolm turned inward, dedicating much of his time to learning more about his faith, including undertaking the Muslims' sacred pilgrimage to Mecca. Tragically, members of the Nation of Islam would assassinate Malcolm before his new philosophy could gain momentum. But his autobiography would become a key text of the Black Revolution, and it remains a key part of the American literary canon today. From Chuck D. of Public Enemy to President Barack Obama, Malcolm X's bold and resonant voice has inspired generations to fight the power. Through his writings and speeches, Malcolm's message to black people to take control of their own destiny lives on.